ドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥド Hey, welcome the- back to NMB Takoyaki Party, episode 47. It's a very special episode number. I'm Matt, and I'm joined by Jeff. Hey, what's up? How are you doing, Jeff? Good. Doing good? Are you like Superman or Batman? Like Superman. I wish I could be, because I need to pack up my whole apartment in like four days. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm also joined by Ryan. Hello. I've, se- I've finally seen Avengers. It's a pretty good movie.、Uh, like the first one that came out like in 2012? <laughs> <laughs> Might no, as that's, well. No. no, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. I, nah, yeah. I, so I've seen like, I don't know, like getting 10 of the, like, the different like, Marvel movies before watching like Endgame and Infinity War. So, yeah, just, just the I- Cliff Notes version. I've seen like pretty much all of them. Although I haven't seen Captain, Captain Marvel. Because you're sexist. Probably, yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't seen a Wonder Woman either. So. No,、oh, there you go. That's actually like, the best、yeah. like, DC movie. Yeah, Wonder Woman's really good.、Uh, uh, but I, I've seen、uh, Black Panther though, so that, doesn't, that makes me not a racist. <laughs> <Yep> . so, <laughs> so I'm only sexist, not racist. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is、uh, episode 47, and、uh, I wrote a very、uh, special, completely original song for this,、uh, this podcast. Do you guys want to hear it? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sing it. Okay, you guys ready? Okay. Okay. Yonju na na no, suteki na podcast. How do you guys like that? Okay, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> so is that. Is... That's the whole thing. Is this. So, is this because we want to add more SEO to the podcast? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. No, no, it's good. Hashtag, hashtag teammate. This is episode 47, so you know what episode, next episode is going to be, right? Yep. The big 4-8. The big 4-8. Is there like a song that says 48 a lot? So, AKB48 or something? And MB48. Yeah. Use that version.、Uh, you're going to sing that next time. Okay. The, the so, everyone, of, please uh, uh, look forward to Matt singing. And then be 48 next,、yep. next episode.、Yep. Look forward to it. So, yeah,、um, on this episode,、uh, we are going to go through the news. There's a lot of news. Like, it's a lot of news happened. I don't it's like a ridiculous amount of news. Of news. I have no、uh, idea why. If you're why. actually following NMB, and like, you know, it's a lot of like kind of small bits and it all builds up. Nothing major? Nothing earth shattering. Yeah, nothing earth shattering. So, no, no single, no single, no album. A bunch, bunch of,、uh, yeah, a bunch of、uh, aftershocks, but not,、yeah. not the big one. Yeah, we're not in Niigata. Oh. Well, <laughs> to be fair, though, they, they haven't had news in like months now. Oh, they've had news, but. <laughs> <laughs> That kind of news.、Um, yeah, but we got the good news today. So,、uh, kicking it off, we have.、Uh, This is in no order of like relevance <laughs> or importance, but. <laughs> yeah, this, you mean this is the most important one? Yeah, okay, yeah. That was inverted pyramid style, you know. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Hayashi Momoka, aka Moka, is、uh, debuting her model idol style book.、Uh, yeah. Jeff has、so、a lot to say I, about this. I, yeah, so. Basically, when Mocha graduated, her goal was to become a fashion model. And now she's、um, making her debut as a model in this kind of idol style book project by a fashion designer named Mikio Sakabe. So if you look on, <clears throat> if you look on the website, it's basically a bunch of like chica idol groups, underground idol groups, like as fashion models wearing this like. Kind of weird Harajuku style fashion.、Mm-hmm. And there's going to be like a printed book that you can buy. If you order 30 copies of a particular member's、uh, book, they will actually have it printed.、Um, 
And then in, di- in addition to that, there's going to be a fashion show in Harajuku that Mocha is participating in uh, on Friday, June 28th. So, so yeah, as, yeah as Mocha Oshis are really happy about this because oh, it's actually a lot sooner than I thought she would be doing something like this, to be honest. Because she was like keeping very quiet and not really talking much about all the... I guess like work related things she was doing and but yeah then she like one day suddenly announces she's involved in this project so it's a minor like you know obscure idol related thing um it's funny because every every other idol in this is part of an idol group except she's the only solo person so I guess she she found something it's a first first step into the industry so we'll see where she can take it from here cool i mean yeah you 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 have to start somewhere so i just googled this guy so the good Mm -hmm. news jeff is that if you google if you type sakabe into google it shows his name so he's the most he's the most famous sakabe there is (laughs) (laughs) so that that's a good that's good news. i think i think he's like a fashion designer yeah i think a new york times article even came up with him oh nice he's legit yeah um do you have to buy tickets for the show uh you had to like go to the venue and buy a book and that gives you a regular ticket and if you buy a book and a t-shirt you get a two-shot with oh. a, a member after the event. So yeah, this is a very Chica Idol style <laughs> event. <laughs> it's like the first fashion show I've heard that ha- does that. Yeah, right. But you know, I'd be there if I could go. So. It's actually like really near my office. Yeah. Not, not that anyone listening to this cares. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's good for her, yeah. I think. Cool, cool. Um, next up. We got Otogiri. You may have heard of her. I think she's like a... Of she, course you've heard of her. Kikusei or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that, that, she that other yo, o, Ota. <laughs> put out a photo it's book like, like a couple months ago. And uh, now they made a uh, like DVD, like making behind the scenes kind of DVD. Blu-ray. Is it just DVD or is it Blu-ray also? Yeah, it's, it's Blu-ray too. Okay. Uh, of her photo book. So Ryan yes. is... Yes. Is going to buy like... Same number of copies of the Blu-ray as Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. I'm not that crazy. Yeah. But it is good because it means that um, there is demand. It means that um, the publisher saw enough sales from the photo book where they figured that, oh, we, we should probably release the making DVD because it's going to sell more. That's good. Yeah. I think it's like the last time they did this was for Sayaka's SY. Uh, was it? Uh, did SY have a video? Yeah. I, I don't know. Okay. That's good. Yeah, I watched it. Uh, like Keichi and Ripopo oh, yeah, and all those other guys. Too. Yeah, Keichi had a DVD. I don't think Ripopo did. And, then, and I think SY was after that. SY was like, I think 2016. Huh. Yeah, 2016? 2015. 2016. Okay. 20. Okay, so Keiichi would have been twenty seventeen. Yeah. So, anyways, one of those two. Yeah. But um, I know uh, Fuchan didn't get one. Mm. Because it sold really bad. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Like I, I see, I see like her Instagram recently. It's like, no, you're not the Fuchan that I know. Maybe because yeah. she colored her hair. Yeah, that's the big thing. Yeah, she colored her hair and like, and she's always been known to be like very, very like made up. Like her, she uses a lot of makeup, mm-hmm. but I don't know. It looks really weird. Like the the amount of makeup she uses now is weird. Mm. I don't know. I, I just find it like when I look at her Instagram, it's like, you know, it happens a lot with a lot of like graduated members, right? Yeah. Because when they graduate, like they, their look changes. Yeah. Yeah. I, even yeah, Mocha too. I mean, it's, yeah. I think it's because. Ota, idol otaku have a certain look they like they don't like like too much makeup <laughs> like super girly type but Gallery once style. they're once they graduate yeah, yeah once they graduate Gallery. they're free 
Yeah, and then they they go, they go nuts. I mean, it's okay, fine. It's like, like it, <laughs> oh my god, oh that's my a, god, oh my game. god, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my god, don't don't get me started on that. <laughs> Last time I was complaining about like um her, the weird like unkempt hair and then she's like, "Fuck you, watch this." Yeah, cut off half of hair. my hair. <laughs> yeah. And you should cut the other half off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, cool. Uh, yeah, so solo DVD, so everyone listening to this, you are now obligated to buy 3 Three copies each, <laughs> which is like it's. This is like the ring, so you, you can't you can't stop this now. I'm I'm gonna show up like on your earphones and grab your head. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, how would that work? So go like out of the ears and like cover your face or something, or <laughs> Try to picture it. no 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 need no need to. Anyway. Uh, next, Moving on. Next, we got uh, <laughs> NMB forty eight B two is going to be performing at a couple of uh, concerts or live events in summer, including Tokyo Idol Festival and uh, Summer Station. Yeah, which uh, so th- pretty big events. Yeah, well, Tokyo Idol Festival is like um, basically like Chica Idol Chica Idols convention. and like Chica Idol adjacent. Yeah, I think like you know like HKT they always perform there. I think actually like uh, I mentioned this like off the show, but uh, like, like Sashi, she's actually like the producer of the whole thing. Yeah, Sashihara. so HKT performs in Tokyo Idol Fest because like uh, Sashihara's gimmick is that she's like an idol wataku, right? Yeah. So. So they're like, oh, we should join uh, Tokyo Idol Fest because, like, idols join Tokyo Idol Fest. Yeah. But the thing is, like, if you're big enough, we shouldn't be joining yeah. this, like, event. So, like, they're not so when it their, first came out... Yeah, they're not sending, like, their big guns to this. So, like, I think, I think all the groups except for AKB Proper are going there. Like, even SK is there. No, no, uh, AKB Proper is going. But, no, it's just Team 8. No, 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 no. They announced yesterday. Oh, so okay. you, you You added Milky here, right? They also announced that AKB oh. Proper is showing uh. up. Wow. And and also the entirety of SKE. I don't know why they they actually split it out to SKE Team S, SKE Team K, and SKE Team E. Hmm. And yeah, ST is going to be day. there. Yeah, basically, except NGT, everyone's <laughs> going to be there. <laughs> I wonder why. Huh. Maybe they're going to announce tomorrow. Okay. Okay, NGT. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but the NMB, so this is not necessarily, like, you know, the heavy hitters, like, it's not Senbatsu, it's B2. Not at all. Which, yeah, you know, B2. has a few Senbatsu members, but it's mostly, like, you know, the closest thing to, like, the, the Chica Idol kind of image, all the Lily Kong. Well, la- last year, last year they sent, uh, the Catlea group, yeah. the R.I.P. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, it's pretty much the same group, though, so, plus, like, plus mostly 5th yeah. gens. <laughs> And plus Uka. The baby. She's and the chef. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. And Yuki Tsun, don't forget. Oh, yeah. yeah, so well, she's a photographer. Her job is to like uh yeah. <laughs> so Uka Uka is there to yeah, chaperone them to like um fan Ayan when she gets hot. Yep. <laughs> then Coco Chan's there to like uh b- bring the snacks. Yeah. <laughs> and Yuki Tsun's there pictures. to take photos. Yeah. <laughs> See? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So it's also summer station is um like uh like TV Asahi thing. Anyway, mm. so usually they have like these um live events, right? Every summer. So they're sending B2 to them. Which is good. Yeah. Also Milky sh- doing uh yes. solo. So that'd be that's pretty cool for her. I think that's her first solo appearance maybe. In TIF? Uh, it's not TIF, not though. TIF, it's Summer, Summer Station. Station. I think, yeah, since like, yeah. her whole like debut, I don't think she's... No, she had a concert. Oh, I mean, not... not. I mean, wasn't well, this also like a TV televised no. performance? No. No. Oh, okay. No. Like, the TV station will promote it, but it's not. Okay. Like, it's not like... Uh, not, it's not live. It's not like FNS. Some like, music station. Yeah, or future no, no, TV, no. FNS. No, no, no. It's just an event. Just a bunch of events that they are doing every day. So like they have like this 
like oh this this summer come to like TV Asahi blah 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 because every day we have different artists performing. Yeah. Uh, I actually applied for this one, but I canceled when I found out it was P two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna waste like a day off just especially to go to especially because it's like well I think it's a weekend, but. Uh, especially because it's like with a bunch of chica idols, which are really loud and yakai and annoying. And also, it's out out in the sun. Well, that's the IF. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Summer Station is. Um, I th- oh, it might be out. Yeah, you're right. It might be out too. Like it has on stage or whatever. Yeah, but it's not. Um, but the Summer Station is like every day. There's a different performer, mm-hmm. so it's not. It's not like you're not fighting for for space with. Um, Disgusting <laughs> at Chicago. <Idol. laughs> yeah. Um, in other uh, concert or live news, we also have uh, Danceable. Oh, yeah. Which is Danceable. Like another, like, kind of subunit. It's a subunit adjacent. Yeah. <laughs> like, last Don't time we talked about. Subunit like, status. Yeah, last time we talked about WeGo, which is, like, an unofficial subunit. Um, Danceable, yeah. I guess, also. I guess it is a. Fish, I, guess, fish. I guess danceable is more of a thing yeah. than we go. We go. We go, we go is literally you just want like them to do like make. Now. Yeah, yeah. So danceable, which the members are Jeff, you can uh, Chihi, Chihi, Uka, Uka uh, Kojirin, Yumin, uh, Yukitsu. Yukitsu, and yeah. one more. Oh, Nanaho. Yeah. So those six, they did us one in the uh, like special stages that's when they were first formed to do the danceable stage and yeah they recently they've been trying to like clamor like management please let us do something let us be like quintet <laughs> yeah. Dance so, uh, me, i don't i don't want i don't want to be like rude right but no yeah i mean we all know that they have no shot of being as anywhere as popular as quintet but good for them for trying yeah, i mean it doesn't hurt right like um it, 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 there's no rule that says like you can only have one subunit yeah yeah i think the more units but, the better because you know you get to cater to different interests yeah yeah exactly um the thing is like dancing is is, is kind of weird because there's definitely like a much much better dancers than they are than them right yeah, so they're the sure. best in nmb right yeah. but like if you've if if they actually join like an actual dance competition, they'd probably get killed. Yeah. So so that's the kind of weird thing because like Queen Tet doesn't claim to be anything, right? The fashion. They icons. don't claim to be like. I mean, not even right. They're they're just like oh we're we're like. The like the Joshi Ryoku, or like we have like high Joshi Ryoku. but that that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Right? It just means like you hey can, we can, have can, we have a lot of girl fans. It's open to. Well, the, the nice thing about that, it's open to whatever they want to Joshioku to mean. So they can be themselves yeah. and sell yeah. their own personalities. Exactly. But, yeah. but like, danceable is more specific, right? It's like, yeah. oh, we're good dancers. So the thing is, like, your, your market is still idol wataku. Mm-hmm. And, the, and the idol wataku don't really like dancing. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. Because right? we I can't mean, dance. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean that's not what I mean. But like, I mean, it's because they want their idols to be like cutesy and like. Like, I'm not saying everyone, right? So there are yeah. idol otaku who appreciate good dancing. Like, for example, like uh, in Sayaka Sonic, when I saw the Yaban no QI, right, which is pretty much danceable plus Sayaka, yeah. and it was, it was really cool. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, that was so cool. But like, if you create like an entire concert based on that, I would think a concert mm-hmm. sucks. Yeah. I even don't like the like the dance focused like singles or songs. Like yeah, must yeah, be like now. The I don't cool like guy or something, right? Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, anyway, well back from criticizing the entire concept of <laughs> 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 No, we're not criticizing them. We're saying that they, they, they have challenges. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, back to the specific news because I think we we talked about danceable at, like yeah. that before. But anyway, this Did time we? they oh. uh, managed to schedule a s- kind of special performance at this little um, stage at Fuji TV <laughs> Studio in Odaiba yeah. in Tokyo. Yeah. So if you look, I looked up pictures of the venue and this this like 
like 10 meter wide stage with like a standing area for like 200 people inside like the lobby. It's basically a uh, studio. It's basically a uh, a meeting room in <laughs> in Fuji TV. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty large meeting room, but it's a meeting room in Fuji TV that, yeah, they, that they converted like, this those stages. Type stage. of venues is like for Chica Idol events. Yeah, like there's they had something called like TIF Mini TIF. Mm. So like it's <laughs> it's not even if TIF. <laughs> if you're too Chica to get into TIF, this is what you go to. It's like the deep underground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If TIF, if TIF is like basement one, this is like basement three. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we knew dance school before they were cool. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so it's it's this really small event. Um, but I mean, it's good for them to get something solo and good for the fans who get to go. Oh, the good news is that um, they, they started selling today apparently and it's sold out already. Oh, so they have two wow. shows. Okay. They have two shows, afternoon and evening. And both of them are sold out. Sweet. Well, it must be pretty I mean, easy to sell out like 200 tickets. Yeah, it's like 200, 100, <laughs> it's, 200. It's, it, it's smaller than the NMB theater, so... Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean... So, um, they, they especially after the previous uh, Quintet show, I think it was the Osaka one, not not the Tokyo one, where um, some... Uh, I think you mean... You mean um, you mean attended uh, Queen Tet show, and that's when she started talking about danceable, like, oh, I want, we want to be like Queen yeah, Tet, blah blah yeah, blah. I remember, and I after the after the Tokyo one, that was when it like, like they 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 started like, oh yeah, we want. I don't know. I mean, it, it's it's like it, it's a form of jealousy, right? But it's not. I don't think it's a negative form of jealousy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Using you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think they're stupid enough to think that they they will beat Quintet or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But why not? Yeah. So it's good they they have um yeah. they have a goal in mind. Yeah, they're trying to improve themselves. They all six of them did like Instagram story questions about like oh what, what do you want to see. Yeah, what do you want right. to see Queen Tut do? What do you think no, we not lack Queen Tut, right Danceable. Now? Danceable. Or Danceable. sorry, Danceable. <laughs> Freudian slip. What do you want Queen oh, what do you want Danceable to do? Be like Queen Tut. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> well I did, so, I did I'll, I'll give you my troll mm-hmm. answer to what songs do I want them to perform was which one. <laughs> <laughs> If you want a really terrible statistic, I'm going to... Um, if you add up all the handshake slots of the danceable members, I don't think oh. they will beat, <laughs> like, Yuri's handshakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, the, so, the 100 yen challenge. Hey, Chihi has two, two slots now. Yeah. <laughs> and I think Uka has three. Then everyone else has one. But they, but they don't sell out. Yeah. Anyways, it's not it's not about sales. It's about you know, artistic merit. Oh shit! Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, moving on. So we talked so much about Quintet. Let's talk about it for reals now. Uh, so Ryan went to their spring show. Yeah, I think we talked about that last time. Yeah, uh, and they announced, I think properly, like they're gonna do uh, their summer tour in Osaka, Nagoya, and Tokyo. Yes. Uh, well, I got tickets for the Tokyo one. So I'm definitely going to Tokyo yeah. one, Ryan. I think are you going to go to all of them? Uh, I have tickets for all of them. I'm not I don't know if I can go to all of them, but we'll 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 see. Damn. But yeah, I'm excited because it's the first time they're doing a non live house show. So it's actual like an actual hall with seats. Yeah, that that's pretty good. Yeah. Like the number of people who will get in is probably not that different because like um the Toyosa Pit one was like three thousand people and um uh, the venue that they're using now in Kawasaki is actually like two thousand, mm. so it's even smaller. But it it's bigger. The hall is bigger, right? Than than a live house. I don't know. Uh I, I'm really over like the, the live house thing. I, I really don't want it to stand anymore. Thanks, like a concert. <laughs> oh my god! Yes. Uh, okay. Um, also, yeah. I think what they also announced the same day as their tour, they also said they started up a YouTube channel. 
Yeah. Queen Tech YouTube channel. YouTube channel. But essentially it's good. them uploading like their performances from the last show. Basically the Tokyo show they, they split up. Basically they, they uploaded the whole thing. Yeah. They're gonna they they plan to upload the whole thing in, in parts. Yeah. So now up to now they they have uh five songs, I think. Yeah, they have five songs up now. As in, like, five performances, because Quintet only has two songs, officially. But, uh, <laughs> unless you did, like, which one do you like five times? Five times, yeah. No, one they, for they did 13 member. times for you. <laughs> the ghost five? Of, I don't know what you're talking about. Ghost of Azusa. That's like a CG, ghost of, like, CG Azusa, you know. Oh my god, so so um, I, I remember talking about this last time when I was saying that they were showing the video of Quintet at start. Mm-hmm. So apparently they have a name for it. It's the Quintet Overture. Yeah. So there is a Quintet Overture. So it's really funny. You should go to the uh, to YouTube and look Watch up it. the Quintet Overture. And, and, and they, they actually like edit out as a song. It's like cleverly like... <laughs> yeah. So, so they would have like... Um, Performances that definitely had Azusa in it, yeah, but yeah, she's yeah. not on it. She's like just yeah, cropped they, out of the frame or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So they, <laughs> <laughs> they would like chop it up and like <laughs> use only half. They should like go through the crowd and block out people holding up Azusa <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Miss Yoshida says that um, you're gonna have to step out, sir. <laughs> yeah, so that's cool. But so check it out. So the plan for this channel is to use it as an actual channel. So the plan right now is to just um, to upload the concert videos, right? But eventually they're gonna start with like gimmicks. Well, not gimmicks. How do you call that? Uh, Kikaku. Like actual shows. Okay, kind of like so, variety shows, like YouTube. Stuff. Yeah, variety stuff. Gonna see like Ice Bucket Challenge, Quinta Edition, and like, <laughs> uh, man, they're behind the time. One, one liter of Coke <laughs> challenge, whatever. <laughs> essentially, like they what, talked about. Essentially, what a uh, Sayuri <coughs> channel, Tonigo IDs. Yeah, a Sayuri channel. <laughs> No, they talked about um, they want to do kare, kare maten, which is a, a very Japanese uh, variety thing. Mm. Where are you, are you familiar, either of you, what kare maten is? No. no. What is it? So uh, it's it's a um, it's a Japanese variety show. Well, it's a it's a corner in a Japanese variety show where they would go to like a, a restaurant, for example, and um, they have to guess. Uh, so they have to guess like what the top ten. Um, menu is in that restaurant. Oh, so I think they did it in it's like family uh, feud. Ge- Genkai Topa. No, no, no. no. Oh, so, oh, yeah, that. but the thing is, like every time they guess something, they have to eat it. Huh. So let's say you go to Caesarea, right, and say, okay, guess the top ten Caesarea menus, and you say, okay, chicken wings. So they'll give you chicken wings, and you have to eat it, and they'll tell you what rank it is. Uh-huh. What if it's not? So and then rank? they have. Well then, Do you still then have to you're eat it? wrong. So if you say something, yeah, oh. no, you have to eat it first before they tell you ah. what the rank is. So it, it becomes really, really painful if you have like a hundred, hundred items in the menu, right? And you can't get the top ten. They actually do a version of it in Genkai Toppa, mm. yeah. where the, the bingo thing. Yeah, and they're cruel. Like once they hit the goal of like four bingos, they make them do one more. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what they talked about. They wanted to try. Yeah, that'd um, be fun. I, I I know I know one thing they did was they did uh they remodeled the the YNN room in the theater. So they don't have like the crappy like NMB poster boards. Yeah. Sta- so the so if you see on the wall. <laughs> yeah. So if you see like uh NMB official photos nowadays, they have like the the fake brick thing on the back. Mm. You oh. might have noticed this, right? Apparently, Quintet was the one who designed that, but uh, and it's going to be in the video. There you go, using that Joshiroku. Yeah, look forward. I'm looking forward to that. Yep. It's just called it's like just and called subscribe, Quintet, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a Quintet channel. So yeah. go, go go to the channel and subscribe. 
and watch all the videos. Don't just watch Saipi video. I don't know why everyone's <laughs> watching the Saipi video. Actually, I they watched pop. their which one do you like performance. Actually, this, uh -huh. this, that didn't sound like it was a good performance. Like the it's live. I guess so. Yeah, it just seemed so. seemed off. It, seemed, it sounded like it was missing something or someone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. Yeah. Alright. OT4. Original 4. Yep. Yeah. Alright, moving on. Uh, probably like, might be like the most... Uh, I think probably not, like the, the biggest news or the... No, it's not big. Obviously, UD. <laughs> solo DVD. <laughs> yeah. It's like the most minor news we have this week. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on how you interpret it, yeah. Uh, but, so this week, um, Shiroma Miru's photo book entitled Love Rush is out. Came out this week. Ass Rush. Ass Rush. <laughs> Boob Rush. Boob now. Rush. Yep. Boob Rush. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, uh, Andy asked uh, Miru what, um, what page, like, what shot was her favorite. And she says the one with the ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or she's just like pinching it or whatever, or doing a little like circle heart thing on her butt. And and then Andy was like, "All of them have the ass," and he, and she's like, <laughs> and she, she's I think the one the one that's uh, going around Twitter with like the the really red ass. Yeah, it's like her all sunburned <laughs> and stuff too. No, so someone slapped it. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, but I came out this year, this week, uh, and I have a little story. I want to tell, talk about this. You have a story. Yeah, story time. Um, so, <laughs> you tried buying it, you can't find yep, it. I tried buying end. it, I couldn't find. Oh, that's the too lazy, you didn't listen version of it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, cause I was gonna go like just find so like for purpose of like discussing it on this podcast and you know for you know for research for for science purposes you know. Yes. Uh, I went to three different bookstores here. Could not find three it. different bookstores. Yeah, three different wow. bookstores. Couldn't find them. Uh -huh. Staffed and like they don't know. No, get out of here, you pervert! You know, I got shown pictures. <laughs> <and stuff>. <laughs> <laughs> so, which tells me two things. Um, also, there's a comment or a question is like from uh, this guy named uh, Achilles. It says, "Can meters photo book be considered too sexy for an idol?" So I think either. The book is too sexy, so they can't sell them on store shelves. No, that's not true. They sold the Katorena one, and that one literally oh, has yeah. her ass on the cover. Well, I don't know if that's sexy, though. I don't know. Actually, yeah, probably that cover is probably more sexy. Um, or it's just like, it's, it's so it's so popular that stores can't keep keep it in stock. It, it's one of two things, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then, this, I teased this off the air, but... uh. Actually, I didn't see any Yuri books there either, at any of the stores. Damn it! Oh. Damn it! So that means maybe they sold them. Up. They sold out too. Yeah, that, that, that's no. that's that's. They have very very low. They have very low um, supply. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, so I couldn't I couldn't find the Yuri photo book. That's my story. I was really upset. Um, that was it. That was it. But uh. Because also I didn't I didn't get any tickets for the Watashi Kai because I think she did her she did one on launch day on Wednesday at the fuck you yeah books. The, the fuck you books yeah <laughs> in uh, Shinjuku <laughs> um, and then yeah a friend of the show Andy went to the one today in uh, Ebisucho huh? Ebisucho yeah no in, in Ebisubashi Osaka. yeah in, in Osaka yeah yeah Tsutai Ebisubashi yeah um. Yeah, that's it. Muse photo book in stores I now. I thought well, I thought you had like this because I can't find it. So I thought you had this like hilarious story about like going around the store and then finding it in the porn section and then. Nah, it wasn't even in the porn section. <laughs> Believe me, that's, that's, <laughs> and that's, you checked. that's the first place I checked. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, I think I think the Yuri photo book had the same problem, with, which was. Um, they didn't really think it would sell as much, so they didn't print a lot. Yeah. But the thing is, that it touch, it's Tochigi, right? I don't know. <laughs> well, I found plenty of, like, Watanabe Risa, like, Keiaki's Oh, my like, God. So. Fuck that. So, I don't know. I had the same, I had the same thing. Yeah. Uh, so, 
I was in I was in Kobe actually when um, Yuri's photo book um, started, like when they started selling Yuri's photo book, and I went around the entirety of like Sanami uh, Kobe, yeah. looking for the photo books. And I found like a lot of stores with it, but then there were some stores that had nothing. But then they had like all this like Nogizaka shit. Yeah. Oh, hashtag Nogizaka. Hashtag <laughs> shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag Hashtag. Yeah, I thought hashtag. you were gonna say hashtag Nugizaka Nugizaka shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Get that trending. Yeah. Yeah. No, so it's 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 ridiculous though. Like you go you go to like the 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 photo book section, right? And then they would have like huge like displays for like the Nogizaka Keakizaka stuff. And then you'd you'd find like um, Yuri's thing. Like it was like the day it was sold, started selling, right? And it was like small section, mm-hmm. like a small area with like five books. I think it's like that's just like the general like the whole like generational change or whatever interest change. Because even like, you get to like the photo shops, like the like the buy the little photo cards. Like yeah, it it's be, now like, like all the Nogizaka. Know, whole aisles dedicated to AKB and Forty Eight Group. And Nogizaka was this little corner, but now it's flipped, and Nogizaka is most of the aisles, yeah. and AKB now is in the little corner. Oh, oh man! Uh, if if you go to uh, Dera Nan Nan in yeah. Namba, yeah. I, in, I think I Namba. went with Jeff. Yeah. yeah, it's sad. It's like three cabinets of NMB. It's in Namba, but like ten percent of the store is NMB, and the ninety percent is is uh, Sakamichi yeah. stuff. Yeah, I mean that's even that's even like. Much better though, because at least it it has an NMB section. Yeah, like, I, I, I don't know. it's it's well, it's sad. Yeah, uh, I just looked at Amazon and uh, Love Rush is number thirty one on all books, uh, on all idol books. I think is it? Wait, let me check. Is it all idol books or just normal books? It's thirty one on all books. It's number two in um in idol books. Photo books. Photo books. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, I just want on Amazon.com to search for it, not Amazon JP. Yeah, <laughs> Amazon JP. No wonder I can't find it. <laughs> what what did you find with Love Rush? It was like some uh, uh the Power also, of Love, I mean, the best it... of Jennifer Rush was <laughs> <laughs> Love Kennedy. <laughs> Elvis, well, Elvis Presley like, can't. I, I find music. That's why. Oh wow! It's actually sold out. Like the non the non Amazon version is sold out. <clears throat> oh, interesting. Oh shit! They're selling a Miru Dakimakura for twenty eight thousand yen. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a really sexy one too. Jeez. Yeah, I was looking on a uh, Murakari also, and then like people were selling like a bunch of them for cheaper. Which I think that's probably what uh, Ryan would prefer. I do. Yes. Buy it secondhand. Go, go. Yes. Don't don't contribute to her sales. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it wasn't until like yesterday, like last night, where I'm like, hey, I should buy a copy of the book so I can like, talk about this on the podcast. And Ryan's like, no. But it's too late. So now to get no sales for me. Should should get uh, Andy has like I don't know thirty or something. Get one from him. Yeah, but then I have to like get it from him, like he's sending to me. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. So yeah, Shinomiru's Love Rush. Check it out. You probably already have. You perverts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, move- I don't know. I, I was I was reading some reviews and they were like, "Oh, it's not it's not as sexy as I thought it was gonna be." Like, what the fuck? Did you- <laughs> what were you expecting? Well, they had to tease the good ones so you could buy it. Yeah, that's true. Maybe, maybe we, we've already seen all the good ones, like bait and switch or whatever. Probably not, though. Like, oh man, did you see like this one, this one shot where she was wearing like a see-through swimsuit? No, no, I haven't seen that one. Oh man, that that one, that one was like kind of extreme. Let me let me look for it. Yeah, I'm like for for research. Yeah, for, research. for research purposes, yeah. of course. Yeah, because I'm looking they're, on they're... Amazon, just the results. It's like Love Rush. It's, so it's Miru's book, and then there's a bunch of like, like manga, like looks like Yuri style girls love. <laughs> uh, next, moving on, we have uh, this kind of eh, not really big news, but like a lot of people talked about it for some reason. 
but it's like some weird like uh, behind the scenes style news. AKS sells complete rights to of NMB forty eight to to Yoshimoto Kyoraku, which yeah, I thought we already thought that was like the main case already, but I guess it happened like what 2014, 2016? Yeah, around twenty fifteen, sixteen. So. Uh, NMB started under Kyoraku yes. Yoshimoto, right? So it was basically like a franchise of AKB48. So, uh, and then around like that time, 2015, 2016, like um, NMB's um, management changed from Kyoraku Yoshimoto to show title. Mm-hmm. So people people thought that like, um, like Kyoraku uh, sold out and then uh, Yoshimoto took over, right? As show title. That's what people thought happened, but then like um, last month, like there was this news that like oh apparently AKS owned uh, NMB and then they sold it back to Kyoraku Kyo- Hiroshimoto. So that means like sometime around 2015-16, um, Kyoraku Hiroshimoto sold NMB to AKS, which like blew everyone's mind because mm-hmm. we never. But it's really weird. So that means that AKS owned. NMB, except that uh, Yoshimoto, as show title, was managing them. Yeah. So it's a lot of like. So it doesn't. Not, I don't think anything will really change. Yeah. Like people want to talk about it, right? Because they, we we want we like to think that we know like the business stuff here, but we we really don't. So. Nor should we. What we do know is that yeah, nor should we. We don't care. <laughs> like like what we should care about is like what they produce, right? Like the output. Rather than like how the sausages are made, yeah. If, if they're <laughs> delicious sausages, then you know, eat eat them with the uh, eggs and bacon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> usually, but usually the <laughs> options is sausage or bacon. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. Usually, yeah, because you get like a sausage McGriddle or a bacon McGriddle. I tried. I tried having uh, like so the only the only breakfast I ever had in the U.S. was Carl's Jr. It's terrible. Well, that probably wasn't the best choice. Should have gone Denny's, Denny's or <laughs> there was no there was no oh, Denny's. Oh my god, California's terrible. That's pretty. That sounds right. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible if you yeah. want fast food. <laughs> no, it's yeah, terrible if you don't have a car. That too. I didn't have a car. I mean, it's so. just America in general, unless you live on the East Coast. Yeah, so Boston was great. I, I could walk anywhere. Yeah, those coastal elites. Yeah. Okay. Fuck yeah. Yeah, the. I mean, I think some people were speculating that recently with the things like the uh, Seiza Matsuri and like performing at the that soccer match, those were kind of like more local out like outreach things that NMB didn't do before. So people were speculating that was kind of what changed after NMB was sold back to Yoshimoto Kyoraku. Uh, it's hard to say, but I mean, it, it is true that like NMB has made more of an effort to be more local recently, which is like the, 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 the great thing about the, the thing with NMB, right, is like their local is different from like STU's local or SKE's local. Mm-hmm. Or NGT's right, local. like, or NGT's local because like the the the, the size, <laughs> the size is ridiculously different, right? Uh, like the yeah. Kansai area like survives on its own. Yeah. So, so even if like NMB focuses on their local, like it's still pretty large. Versus like doing like small festivals in, like whatever Yamaguchi Ken or something. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if that has anything to do with Kyoraku Yoshimoto. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Like because they've always been show title. So that's the thing. Yeah. So we don't we don't know what that means. What we do we don't know how it worked when AKS owned them and show title was managing them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we always know is like the like whenever like like you go to like the AKB shop or AKB cafe or whatever. They would have all the other sister groups, but no NMB goods, like in their goods. Right, they'd always yeah. have SKE, they'd always have HKT, but they would never have NMB at like the cafe shop. 
Yeah, because they're they're different, yeah. right? So actually, if you see, uh, if you look at um, pictures of members, for example, right, they would always have they would have the copyright sign. Yeah, copyright okay. So people who are listening to this, right, listen, uh, uh, check it out. So if you see like a picture of like an AK, like the the profile photos, yeah. you see like uh, Okada Nana or Murayama Yui yeah. or something, right? They would have like copyright AKS, and like SKE would have that too. Yeah. Well, not anymore, I mean, but they would they would have that. HKT would have that. Yeah. But then NMB would always be like copyright NMB forty eight. So even even back then, right? Like like it's always been like uh, we're not AKS. So I don't know what happened in two thousand fifteen. Even even when when the management uh, when the ownership change happened, and nothing changed, right? It was still NMB forty eight. They yeah. they never became AKS. So we don't know what that meant. I, it it could theoretically, right? It could have been just like. Uh, a caretaker thing like for tax purposes yeah, yeah. okay we'll just pass you NMB48 and then hold on to it for like two years and then we'll take it back <laughs> it's like some money laundering scheme or something <laughs> yeah maybe I don't know so like, the, like Yoshimoto's famous for being like Yakuza front mm. yeah. some sketchy stuff yeah but yeah it just yeah. seems like this is like them like you know clarifying everything kind of making everything like, yeah I, to, I, I think I think I think yeah, it's. I think. I think to be honest, it's just like ba- some balance sheet thing. Formality. It's not like with. It's not like with keyholder, right? Where like Com- it actually changed. Yeah. Uh, moving on, we have a couple of uh, graduation announcements. First off, uh, Iso Kane. Sad. Iso Chan, the the m- new mother of the group. Now she's off to go play some soccer. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna perform at, yeah, the, basically. at the World Cup. Doesn't she have some kind of sports-related job lined up? Yeah, she's gonna be like the ambassador for uh, Kobe Leonesa, which is oh, yeah, the, uh, the women's J League um, team. She's gonna be like a official supporter. I don't know what that means, but I think it means like she has to be there every game. Hey, get paid to watch soccer. Yeah, what what a terrible job! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to all the Europeans listening. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I mean football. That's that's what they call it there. No, it's real football. So yeah, I guess did she wins her graduation? Did she already graduate? No, yeah. No, no, no. She's still there. Uh, so apparently, she said that uh, it's gonna be a while. Uh-huh. So we don't know what that means. But it's always like people are like, "Oh, she's uh, gonna be her last appearance here or something." No, not really. It's gonna be oh, so we don't know what. They haven't started like, she refunding says, enhancer tickets for her yet. No, at the very least, she's gonna do everything, which means that she's gonna stay until August. Hmm. So I think, um, like Iso, Iso started like really late. So she 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 entered NMB uh, as a twenty year old. Hmm. And she was first draft, so she was with um, Ripong, uh, uh, Koko Chan, and Sarang. And I think she's she's like carved out her niche, right? So like she has all these like soccer stuff. Yeah, good for her. I mean, I think it's time. I guess she's yeah. as old as Sayaka. When she graduates, who's gonna be the oldest member? I think huh. Yuki Tsun or like Ayatin, something like that. Next. Like twenty, but she's twenty five, right? The next one's probably gonna be like twenty three or something. Ah, Ma- Maichi. Oh yeah, yeah. Maichi's like twenty four. So there's like a really big gap. So there's like because like NMB's been around for nine years, mm-hmm. right? So there's like a lot of like mid twenties girls, mm-hmm. and then because they have sixth gen, right? They have like twelve year olds. <laughs> <laughs> something for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Like even Miru, Miru's like twenty one. Is she twenty one? Uh, looking at the list now, she is. Yeah, she's twenty one. Right, that's like oh my god! Like imagine like when Miru started. Yeah, the twelve year old. Polycon. And she's about to be twenty two. She's gonna be twenty two this year. Yep. Oh wow! Yeah, she's gonna be twenty two this year. I I know uh, Akarin. Akari and Saipi and uh, Nagisa are already 22. Hashtag Taylor Swift. <laughs> what? Why? Yeah, it's her song, her album. Yeah. I'm it's feeling 22. 22. 
Uh, next, yeah. uh, no, the other graduation announcement we have came kind of suddenly. Uh, yeah, this one, this one's so Isu Chan's. Uh, so w- when they announced Isu Chan, right, it was more like, oh, okay, so good luck. Um, yeah, it's time. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah Otsukare. Yeah. This next one. This one's more like, what the fuck? Yeah. So Ozawa yeah. Ai, who was a, a, dr- a D3 member, draft third generation member. Uh, she announced yeah. just on a blog this week. Uh, <coughs> she is going. Yeah. She announced that she's going to graduate, and it's like kind of a yeah, sudden next week. Yeah, next week, so we're very sudden. You know, not even going to do like her last handshakes or anything. What is she going to do? Yeah. There's handshakes next week, right? But no, there's handshakes two weeks from now. Okay, yeah, yeah. But she's graduating next week, yeah. so nothing. Yep. So her fans can't do, can't say goodbye. Blah blah blah. She does get a graduation show, right? Yes, so, she does get so, the graduation. So not show. quite the whole. Azusa out. Not quite Azusa. <laughs> <laughs> Hasht- hashtag Azusa. Hashtag traitor. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, we should have like a stinger every time we mention Azusa. Like um, we have the bleep, dolphin bleep, sound or something. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, do, do, do. that's too much work. That's too much work on my end. So, no. It's a dumb idea. I, I, I can support, say that I can get behind that, but it's too much work. I'm too lazy. Uh-huh. Okay. She, she who must not be named. Yeah. Like lightning strikes every time you say it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Osawa I. So the 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 thing with Osawa I is like, um, usually people when they graduate, they they give like template answers, mm-hmm. right? Like, oh, uh, I want I I want to I'm chase be my a model, dream. I'm like, gonna go be a solo yeah. artist or whatever. I'm gonna uh, study or whatever, yeah. right? It's always that, right? But she she gave a really really. I, it's the first time I've seen this kind of answer. Yeah. So when when, when Azusa quit, like she gave like a non-answer. So she's like no explanation whatsoever. This one, like uh, also I actually gave an explanation, and everyone was like, "What the fuck?" It, which was apparently she was getting. Uh... So this is according to her. So there were some rumors about her going around. It's just not true. She made point to say that's not true, yeah. But people kept asking her about it, and the thing is, oh, and that's and she couldn't take it mentally anymore, mm-hmm. so she became afraid of like going on going to the theater and doing stuff, and that's why she decided to just quit, which is like really really weird. Yeah. And the thing is, like, people don't know what this rumor is. Yeah. So I was I was saying like when it happened right like I mean it's one thing if you're like I don't know Ogiyuka or Nakairika or something right or all those like Steelheart uh, AGT girls yeah but like you're a random D three Kenku say from NMB right no one knows what this rumor is why are you so worried about it well there's a uh, one point that may have been talked about. Is I don't think that's that true. Rumor. Nah, nah, well, no, no. There was a Twitter it's post, spread, though. It's not spread that. <laughs> we're, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not going to touch that. Talk about that. But no, we're not going to talk about the specific one. But I know. I know that there. Are, so most people don't know, right? But like I've heard that uh, there were rumors about her like getting together with a fan. Yeah, or yeah, stalker or whatever. Yeah, whatever, right? So, and that, 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 apparently that's the rumor that she was worried about. The thing is, like, no one knows about this. No one cares. Like, she's so minor at this point, right now, right? She's a year in. She's so minor that, like, if, even if she became popular, like, no one would remember this. So that's my criticism of her. But the thing is, like, these are human beings, so I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, for her, like, she's the one getting facing the questions directly at handshake events. So to her, like, her her fans, like, it's it's important, and like, that's enough for her to like feel uncomfortable to keep going. Yeah, I mean, if 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 something like this would cause her to fold up, right? Like, probably like this business is not for her anyway. Mm-hmm. Just like kind of uh, harsh to say, 
but yeah i mean let's say let's say she stays there a couple of years right she becomes popular or whatever then whatever next like fake rumor comes out about her she's gonna quit when that happens yeah that's true like, if, if this causes her to quit then okay goodbye yeah. Not, not, not that I am criticizing people's mental issues, but mm. you know, uh, it is what it yeah. is. I guess uh, when I saw this news, I kind of like it was me being kind of cynical, but it's like I kind of seemed like, uh, well, she's a D three, and there was like twenty of them. That got trapped. <laughs> so, like, I guess it was, like there's twenty nine of them. Of them. So it's a matter of time, you know, they're gonna slowly be like graduating because yeah. like, they're not really growing <clears throat> or whatever. So that's, yeah, that's, that's true. just my interpretation, but I didn't realize there's a whole other like you know, rumors and speculation I mean, surrounding. What? I mean, so uh, for example, I sixth gen is now uh, almost like a year in, right? So now we we've grown attached to these girls, but I think it was maybe um, premature of them to get sixth gen when there was already D three. Yeah. Right, so now, now at this point, because like we're we're otaku, right? So, oh no, no, we I like this sixth gen girl. I like this sixth gen girl. So like it was a correct decision for them to get sixth gen. Yeah, it's like a weird like they're trying to cater to both fit like fans. So you have like sixth gen is like the actual like management produced generation, yeah, and then the draftees are like the fan selected generation or whatever. Yeah. But the thing is, like, the, the D3 girls are more popular. <laughs> mm. Because they're more pushed, right? Yeah. So they, they have more they have more time in NMB, so they get more of the the new girl push. Yeah. And the, the problem with 6th gen is that they're not getting the new girl push. Because there's 29! <laughs> it's too many of them. Yeah, this is way <clears throat> too many. Which is, like, cynically, right? As you said, like, a year from now, we're gonna be like, "Who's Osawa? I oh, oh yeah, she's the girl who quit, right?" Yeah. Which is so yeah. I mean, it's unfortunate. Like, I I mean, I wish she would have like toughed it out. Like, I mean, I don't wish anything bad on any enemy member. I wish them all like they all. I want them all to sell out their handshakes and do well. Mm-hmm. Oh, speaking of handshakes, we should talk about that. So, because of all, because there's like no events, they're like the entirety of June. There's no events. Yeah. So the the July events are actually like selling crazy. Yep, I wanted to buy. I waited because I didn't have any money, and also I was procrastinating. But I wanted to buy uh, some Anchu tickets for the one. The event is like next weekend or weekend after next. Yeah, Ju- July, uh, July sixth, yeah. I think. But she's yeah. sold out. I'm like, uh, I guess I assume because it's like her birthday. It's like yeah. her birthday is uh, July 11th. So, wouldn't it have sold out earlier? Then? Probably, yeah. If Same it was her like birthday, yeah. Whoever else is in, I think like the sixth gen, a lot of them sold out because uh, it's the one year anniversary of sixth gen. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Speaking of speaking of Anju and her birthday, I bought her shirt. Oh, like, oh wait, I, I'm showing this to the camera. We don't have the camera on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I bought her uh, her birthday or Satan Satan size shirt, which is like if you look at it, it just looks like really random. It says "Thank you, corn," and it has a picture of like a sunflower or whatever. <laughs> but I guess it's kind of her catch yes. not part of her catchphrase, which is like "Arigato Tomorokoshi," tomoro which is like "Tomorokoshi" is a uh, corn corn in Japanese. Yeah. It's really complicated. It's a really stupid. It's like an un- unfunny, <laughs> complicated joke, like. It's it's unnecessarily complicated. It's not even funny. To explain it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess one last thing related to the whole Ozai situation. So Amimaru, when we're talking about third gen or third draft, she went on hiatus. Yeah. Amimaru uh, hashtag Amimaru, Amimaru. Fo- hashtag follow Amimaru. Uh, <laughs> she she uh, okay, she went on hiatus. Do you think that, Ryan, do you think this is uh, related to the whole Ozawa Ai situation? Well, let's explain, right? Like, um, she's, she's taking, like, a break from the theater, so we don't know. So she announced it on her, like, Mobame, yeah. and she didn't tell anyone. So, 
Um, and then I I don't know. Matt was telling me that there's speculation that like Amimaru's uh, hiatus has something to do with Osawa Ice graduation because um, they're close. Yeah. So Amimaru sent a mail that said that um, it it was a good thing that she was on hiatus when Osawa I was um, having these problems because that meant that she could spend more time with her, which was she she kind of wrote it in a way that like you could interpret it as like, oh, she took a hiatus because she wanted to be there for us all I. But that's not it. Like, uh, it just happened to be the same time. So, as far as I know, it has nothing to do with um, us all I's thing. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Probably not, because um, Amimaru is still doing other stuff. She's, she's, she's posting on Twitter and Instagram a lot. Is she on Instagram? No. no, 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 just Twitter. She just on Twister, Twitter a lot, and it's like, talking about, oh, I've been, like, spending every night playing Splatoon 2 all night on my Switch. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like, she only announced on Mobile Maze, so she's basically ask, acting like there's no real hiatus, yeah. right? Because there's no official announcement. Yes, so it's not it's not um actual hiatus, but uh, she's not going, uh, she's not showing up at the theater. But she does other things. So she has a uh, Poku Poku Hyakke with Shin Shin that's showing right now. And she did uh, Tap Me, uh, the Mahjong show with um, Sai P. Yeah, she's still going to do her So she's still doing other stuff. So. Yeah, it's not, not yeah. really an official hiatus. Yes. Just theater hiatus. Cool. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back in a few minutes. Or seconds, whenever you hear this. <laughs> <laughs> Probably seconds. And we're back. Uh, we are going to go continue the news. And, uh, yeah, so next pieces of news are kind of, like, not so like important, very minor, very, like, so we're just going to quickly just go over them. Not a whole lot of discussion. Uh, all right. Uh, first one is it's kind of it's kind of boring on big and small. Uh, so Shion and Mirai they joined the showroom contest, which is like was like a week. I think it was like seven days of like nonstop streaming. No, basically, um, and they tried to. You you can only jo- you can only join the contest if you did like a hundred days of nonstop streaming. Yeah. Not not nonstop, consecutive days. Consecutive days, yeah. And like, so I get only yeah. certain members of from Model Forty Eight group was selected to do it because of their streaming streaks. Because like, showroom will keep yes. track of like how many days in a row you stream. Yeah, yeah. There's some there's some girls like uh, who's this girl? The the teammate girl uh, Onishi. Mm. She has like six hundred days or something crazy like that. Yeah. I don't think she joined this time though. Yeah. Uh, but I guess this news that she's especially relevant to us because uh, Shion actually won the contest, got first place, which I think was just like points, like from throwing like the stars and towers and stuff. Or yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure everyone's familiar with uh, how showroom, showroom yeah. works, right? But um, basically, you have to you, you you stream and then you get points by people giving you gifts and mm-hmm. shit. So whoever has the most points after the period what wins the contest. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's like figured it out to this point. It's like down to a science. You have to like yeah. stream for ten minutes so people can like get the free stars yeah. and then like do it yeah. again in an hour or something. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of ridiculous at this point, but it's just yeah. an it really comes down to how much the members are willing to wake up early and stay up late. Yeah, which uh, Shion, I guess, she has a little story she's told on uh, Showroom, where on the last day, she was in, she had to work do work in Tokyo, and she had to pay personally pay for herself for two nights in a hotel to get there the day before and to do it after, do an early morning and afternoon. And, uh... Yes. The t- fun it's tidbit just, is just it was also... Pretty during, crazy. It was during her grandma's birthday, so... <laughs> she had a stream on her yeah. grandma's birthday, which... Yep. Yeah, it's well, it's 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 nuts though. Like how how they they basically like ruin their bodies with this. Because mm-hmm. I think they have like um, a like a schedule. Like they can't stream any earlier than five in the morning, and they can't stream any later than 
10 p.m. Midnight. Yeah. And the thing is, like, uh, this this contest, so bef- so just as background, right, before this one, there was the showroom contest, mm-hmm. which no, uh, no enemy members joined. I think it was an AKB-only contest. Where, um, just to get on the cover of, like, uh, some, like, guidebook to Cebu, oh my fucking god. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take you to Cebu. <laughs> Our local <laughs> Filipino guy. Yep. Yeah. So I have been to Cebu once in my life. We can put you on the cover. We can put you on the cover. Yeah, yes. And you don't have to pay anything to showroom. <laughs> and then uh, it kind of got crazy apparently. Like people were like spending like upwards to like millions of yen. Jeez. To to wow. Yeah, it was it was like this the like a shitty version of Senkyo basically. Yeah. And then, so, I guess, like, after that, people got really gun-shy. Mm-hmm. And then they did a new contest, right? Which this one, which was... Uh, so, you did, Matt, you, Matt, you didn't mention what the prize was. Yeah, the prize is, uh, you get, like, an ad. I don't know sure what the ad is for. Is it just for, for showroom? Yeah, it's an ad for showroom, and you, you will be you know, the plays main model. Shibuya, yeah. Like, on the big screen yeah. that they play in Shibuya. Yeah, but it's going to be a 10-second yeah. ad. So, the top, I think the top three winners got ads. Yeah, the top three. No, no, no. You, you, you bought you. The three of you are on the ad. Oh, okay. So yeah, is uh, you don't Shino, you don't make three separate ads. Sasaki Akari and some S- Fukuda Akari, yeah, and some, whatever. S- S- yeah. Well, that's it's Sasaki Akari. It's Sasaki Yukari. That's Yukari. Yukari. <laughs> yeah. Happiness. <laughs> yep. All right. So that's cool. Um. Next. Uh, speaking of Shiri Sasenkyo's, we have uh Yuri. Got sixth place in the idol looks only so thank you. Oh yeah. So the best in forty eight group like, and but I guess she beat the out only member from forty eight group. Yeah. Yeah. Uh no Jurina I think was up. No. There. Oh, oh no wait. No, Jurina, yeah. I Oh yeah, sorry, yeah. I, I she, wiped that she from beat my memory, Jurina, I think. No, she beat Jurina pretty bad. Yeah. But uh most of the like unsurprisingly a lot of the, the top picks were all like, you know, forty six group members, Sakamichi. But, but yeah, she did it's, beat uh, out, it's... she did beat uh, Hirate Techi. Yeah, Hirate Yuri. Yuri. Yeah, Yuri did. Yeah, she beat out Saito Asuka too. Yeah. Oh, Saito Asuka was like eighth, and she's sixth. Anyway, it's it's a it's a it's a it's a gimmick from a um, radio station, mm-hmm. and but the problem, but the thing is, like people notice because um, they write articles about this, so it's good for her. I mean, it's some minor radio. St- uh, well, it's not minor. It's a it's a famous radio show, but it's not that big. But there's no thank you this year, and and she's ranked in this contest like for a couple of years now. She was also sixth last year, for example, uh-huh. and she was also number one in forty eight. Yeah. Okay. So uh, next, uh, some old uh, uh, graduated member news. Uh... So it feels like we're just like this, like I was saying this before, it's like a, it's like this trend, back and forth trend between uh, Fuko and Keiichi, like with some news, like each month. So it's like, I think it was like before, uh, Fuko <laughs> is doing some like Chica Idol like, meet and greet event, and then the next month, yeah. oh, Keiichi. Keiichi's doing is some doing, Chica Idol meet and greet. No, she's like, oh, she has a play, she's back in the showbiz, cool. And then last month, oh, Fuko, she has a talent, she has an agency now. And now this month, yeah. Keiichi has an agency, it's, it's called uh, Galapagos. Which I've never heard yeah. of this agency. It's like brand no. new. No one's ever heard of this agency. She's like the second member of this agency. The other is like some uh, former AKB girl that I can't remember the name of. Mm. I think her name is Kira. I, I don't know what her surname mm. is. So Takashi Kira? Maybe. I only know the name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I don't really know anything about AKB. Yeah. But, yeah. So good for Keiichi, I guess, and good luck to her. I think she's doing a play, so good luck to her. Yeah, cool. Yeah, um, and then also in other Janishi news. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know why you put this in. <laughs> I'm like, Ryan, you kept on Ryan, talking about you it. talked about it so much <laughs> because I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> um, but I guess we did, we did cross this off. But also there was a lot of like NMB like magazine covers lately 
like uh, Weekly Playboy. Yeah. I think Bomb had a thing. Uh, no, so Weekly Playboy was special because um, Weekly Playboy is published by Shueisha, which is the, also the publisher of Love Rush. Hmm. That's why that's why they did like the NMB special oh, because God. they wanted NMB fans to buy Miru's book. Yeah. Okay, it's all a huge marketing yeah. campaign. Yeah, basically they got every single member of uh, every. So it was a uh, an issue of Weekly Playboy, which was pretty much all NMB. Yeah. So they got ev- almost everyone. Oh, not not almost everyone. everyone like here. a lot of NMB members, a lot of NMB members. Like they got Akarin and Saipi and Nagisa. And uh, Ayan, Kohona, and then what is this? Uka, Kar- uh, Kojirin, Kokochan, whatever. Like, and they all got them to sh- to shoot videos promoting Love Rush. Mm-hmm. Ah, that, okay, makes sense now. Right. So it was like a weird marketing ploy. Well, I guess it worked. But they didn't get Yuri. <laughs> well, isn't there another one? Uh... There was that other uh, quintet like special magazine special, and it was like a yeah, it was get cut and tame. Just kind of uh, playing into the whole like fan service, like the the gay fan service. So like Akari and Yuri and Yuri <laughs> like, on top of each other, all like sensually. Yeah. Stuff. The thing is, it doesn't work because they don't have that kind of relationship. They don't have right? that chemistry. Mm. Yeah, no, business. it was. It... <laughs> <laughs> it looks so. It looks so weird, though. Right? Like, oh my god! This is all, this is a paid hookup. <laughs> <laughs> no kissing. Who who paid for who? Though that's that's the question. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I I I own that magazine, by the way. In case you want to know. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, I didn't buy. I didn't buy the weekly Playboy one, though. I was thinking of buying it. But nah, fuck that. But uh, yeah, I guess reading back to what we were talking about originally. So was this in Weekly Playboy as well? The Jewish yes, Ray. yes, it was Weekly Playboy. Yeah. So um, so remember when uh, like a few years ago, um, they uh, so NMB had the rule where you have to be a high school student to start doing gravier, but then um, like Japan started uh, becoming very strict with uh, like child porn. Yep. And not that this was child porn, but they, they, they <laughs> AKB decided that like okay, so we're we're gonna be more strict about this this shit. So only like uh, you can only do gravure if you're 18 years old and you graduate high school. Yeah, or if you're 18 and older. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. So uh, so uh, Junishi K uh, Junishi Ray, um, yeah. sister, younger sister of Junishi K, um, did some pretty. Uh, Mm, provocative bikini shoots lately in the late recent yes. issue. Yeah, you should look at her Twitter if you're interested. Yeah. Um, even I, I'm even sure you've I, seen this. <laughs> I posted this. But was, uh, <laughs> her sister is like, "Hey, look, check out my sister. She's so cute." And then Milky like <laughs> replied to it and is like, "Nosebleed, nosebleed." <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people replied to it, like, yeah. th- which is really funny. Like, people weren't replying to Ray; they were replying to Keiji. Yeah. <laughs> wh- why? Too ashamed to, to confront her. They're too ashamed to reply to Ray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just Milky, right? It was uh, a couple of girls too. Like, uh, was it Malkyun? It's like there were just a bunch. Ah, Ripopo. But yeah. Uh, oh, we got breaking news here. Play the music. <laughs> you should have like the breaking news music. Sounds like playing like the Sports Center theme or whatever. Yeah. Monday night CNN breaking news. <laughs> uh, so uh, while while recording this, uh, we got some email from Sayaka Fan Club, and it's uh, she is releasing her second single. Yay! Which doesn't have a title or any other news, other than it's come out September fourth of this year. Oh, good for her. Yeah, good for her. Which yeah, I guess that's it, it's pretty good pace. Five months since what, when was Ichirin so? Oh, it was like last. So they have five yeah. months. April. Six months, yeah, it came out April. Like that. Yeah. Huh? April. No, okay. May. What month is it? No, April. April should be should have been April. April. Yeah. Yeah. So five months. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty it's good, a good pace. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, it's better than her first one. That's that's my opinion. My hot take. <laughs> 
Then Rainbow. No, 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 no. That was an album. I mean, this is a single. Oh, okay. Ichirin yeah. So? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. Okay. Are we allowed to criticize Sayaka? I think mean, we did last time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> about I the, already the did it. Yeah, right. It's about the... 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 Her life. The concert, concert right? Too. Which actually, we did get a comment about that. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll read it real quick. So this comes from uh, Case of Madness. Uh, he was one of the guys who went to the Sayaka Sonic with us. I had no matter with later. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, see. he has a counter opinion about the, the, our opinions on the I'm Ready concert tour because he went to a couple of them in Fukuoka. And uh, let's see. He goes to a lot of like rock and idol shows. So it kind of has like a pain uh-huh. on both that perspective. Uh-huh. And uh, to me, rock show is more about music, whereas an idol show is more about having a fun atmosphere with your fellow fans. So I personally prefer the music part more, but if you're going into a Cyanide Live expecting an idol show, I can see why you were disappointed. Which, yeah, yeah definitely. We, we we fooled ourselves. We tricked ourselves. Yeah, but the thing is, like, we are we, we are idol fans, right? First, we are not yeah. rock fans. Yeah. So, I mean, I understand what he's saying, and, and I think uh, if you listen back to that thing we did, like, I, I did say, right, like, I probably was, like, not um, experiencing it as I should have been, right? Yeah. Because like, she's not an idol; she's um, like artist. Yeah. Scare quotes. So <laughs> I do recognize that, but the thing is, it's not it's not for me. But the thing is, like, <clears throat> to be honest, though, I don't think the music is that good. <laughs> wow. No, 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 no. I mean, she's really good, right? But like, she's really good for someone who used. To to be an, who was an idol. Yeah. <clears throat> right? I mean, she's not like fucking queen or anything there. <laughs> I, I can't well, actually, think of a lot of I mean, one's technically like a, uh, you know, an artist because she had like her like, little indie band, Mad Cats. <laughs> and then she joined NMB. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she's always wanted to be an artist, yeah, like, right? So being an idol was a way for her to be an artist. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So I, I understand it from that point, but. Uh, I like so I think we also had this discussion before but I I, I listened back to Ichirin So and I'm Ready is uh, is it I'm Ready? Let's Get, Let's ready. get ready Let's Get Ready was like superior song out of See that's what I'm saying single That's what I'm saying should have been the A side and it's, it's also the most enjoyable no I don't think it should have been the A side <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's like a complete it's a, definitely a coupling song it's a, it's a B, definitely a B side song, but it's like a really good song for a live because mm. it it gets um, it, we go back to this yeah. right. It gets the people hyped and, and there's uh, audience interaction and yeah. stuff. So unfortunately, like that's not what you should be going to like a uh, live for, right? Yeah, it was like it was. Yeah, I mean, okay, if it wouldn't be an A side, I definitely think it could have been like if she did, instead of doing another single, she did like an album. It could have been like a headliner for the album, like kind of like Rainbow or Joker was. Especially just called it "I'm Ready." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because her 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 tour is "I'm yeah. Ready," so they could have they could have made it work. But I don't think it's at the quality of like a Rainbow or Identity. So I I think like Rainbow and Identity had a lot lot of like really good songs in it. Mm-hmm. And like Ichirin So ha- ha- only has one, good song. Um, let, one and a half yeah, good one, songs. Let's, the other what's the half? Is the the Yuri Ota Yuri song? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I like that. <laughs> TV show film camera. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's not it's not a rock song though. So, but I I like the I I I mean I, I mentioned it a lot of times here. Like I like the baladi stuff, so I like it. That's a bad idea. Yeah, see, like the, the, the worst song in the single is the title yeah. one, Ichirin So. Which sometimes that happens. Like, you know, sometimes like the B sides, the coupling tracks are better than the, the A side song. Um, while on the conversation of Sayaka, um, I have a little special treat for listeners of this podcast. So I uh, sat Ooh. down with uh, an old friend, an old friend of the show. I'm joined by Takoyaki Party's founder and original host, Osaka Joe. Hey, I'm also, Joe. I'm also your sponsor. <laughs> I'm still, also sponsor, yeah. <laughs> I still pay for, for our channel for some reason. Still pay, still pay five bucks a month or whatever for that. I know, 
Uh, I don't know. Our benefactor of this fine program. <laughs> what is it? Uh, anyway. Patron? Is that the word? Pa- yeah, you're, you're our patron. There you go. But you're like, you're patronizing yourself, us, I don't know. I was patronizing. I was self-sponsoring, but now I'm just sponsoring. <laughs> Like I said, like the founder, you know, like, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean like you're still like in the company or the group or whatever. You just, you know, you. Yeah, like, like Bill Gates and Microsoft. Yeah. We have, we have a framed photo of you on the wall here in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, I'm talking with Joe today because uh, he recently went to Yamamoto Saika's Solo Live in Okinawa. Yeah. Um, kind of by accident. What? <laughs> Not by accident. Or like. Well, like, I mean, I mean, that was part of this, like, whole, like, conversation that was going on, like, the planning, because, like, Andy even originally told me, hey, do you want to go to Sayaka's live? And I'm like, oh, maybe. And then I decided later, no. And, like, Joe, you also got asked. And you're like, sure, I'll go to Okinawa. I don't care if I'll go to the show or not, though. Yeah, <laughs> or something yeah, like that. So, like, uh, one of the fond memories I have of being part of the NMB community was that we'd go places to go to concerts, right? And so... Mm-hmm. Last year, we went to Hokkaido, and I was like, I really like this feeling, right? Like, it's not the main reason that I go to these places to travel, but it's a reason for everyone else to go. So, I think yeah. it's pretty fun. Pretty good, like, excuse to come out. And so, if every, <laughs> so since everyone was going, right, or I think Andy wanted to go, and maybe some, some other people were there, too. Like, I don't know, yeah. some of Andy's friends that I don't know, and also our friend, Ro. Yeah. And, like... Yeah, it's like, oh, if everyone's going, like, I'll go. I'll just go to Okinawa. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, like, I don't care if I win a ticket or not. And to be honest, like, I was kind of hoping not to win a ticket because, I, <laughs> cause, like, when I got to Okinawa, it was actually really nice. Like, I wish I had more time right. there to do things and, like, explore and stuff. But It's, like, fooling around this whole concert. So, like, how long were you actually in the Okinawa? It was, like, what, two days, three days? So, I got there Saturday at, like, 2.15. And then the concert was, like, Sunday at... Mm-hmm. Five thirty, I think. Yeah, sounds about right. And then, I think it started at five thirty. So, but we lined up at like four thirty, four forty-five, or whatever. Yeah. And then, I actually left Okinawa Monday at three. But like that whole day was like a wash. Like we were just super tired. Um, Partying after this concert. Oh yeah, that. Got 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 wasted at the A and W. In Okinawa. Oh, God, no. <laughs> that root beer. No. You know. No. No. <laughs> no. A&W was like the worst experience I could have asked for. Really? <laughs> right? So it was, it was actually Saturday when uh, we were driving, right? So Okinawa was actually a pretty decently sized island. I didn't know how big mm-hmm. it was. And the aquarium's like on the northwest side. And the yeah. airport and, like, everything in Okinawa is, like, on the southwest side. So the plan was is that the day we arrived, which was Saturday, we would drive up at night to, like, the like near the northwest so that we wouldn't, like, because we wanted to go to the aquarium. And mm-hmm. on the way there, we saw, like, an A&W. We were like, hey, look, it's an A&W. And we were, like, you know, laughing about it. Hey, look, A&W, blah, 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 whatever. And, uh, you know, it was already 11. And it was like, yo, dude, I think we should go. And so we checked into our hotel, we like chilled for like 10, 15 minutes, and we just went to A&W, and it was just, oh my god, it was so bad. <laughs> as good as you remember, so, <laughs> which is not very good. <laughs> well, well, the thing is, I only had it once, because uh, okay. I don't think there were many in SoCal, and I just remember uh, seeing it, and I was like, what the hell is a root beer place? What are they for a restaurant? And I ate there, and I was like, oh, it's okay, whatever, right? That was like when I was like 18 or something, or 19. Yeah. So... Uh, you know, times have changed, tastes have changed. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was just bad. It was just awful. Like the fries were like, I, I don't know, man. I, I think the fries were like, like five years old. They worse than five guys, uh, not five guys, uh, in and out fries. Well, in and out fries here are pretty bad. Okay. So like, it's, it's, it's not like the, like when people say in and out fries are bad, it's because like, they don't like the way they're cooked or whatever. Like mm. I, I can't, I can't tell if like, it's the way they were cooked, but like they were just old. Like, if you, like, after I bit into it and I looked at it, like, it's like the inside was separated from, like, the outside shell. Like, how does that happen to a potato? Like, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you're not here to ask me about A&W. <laughs> well, actually, I am. That's that's actually, I, I told you, hey, we're going to talk about Sayaka. No, actually, I'm here to get the oh, real story, oh which is God, A&W. I got, I got, I got tricked. 
<laughs> okay, yeah. But yeah, uh, so yeah, what did you think of Sayaka's live? Oh my gosh, dude. It was so weird, right? Because, first of mm-hmm. all, I'm like kind of out of the scene. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of us are actually kind of out of the scene of like the whole yeah. 48 group. But anyway, so there's that. Um, and the other thing was that, like, the last time I saw her was at her graduation concert, right? And yeah. so here we, like, here we were at this gigantic park, right, Bampakukoyan, like, 40,000 people, right? And she's, like, on center stage, and she's, like, walking, like, when I remember the concert started, and she just walks, like, down the, the center aisle or whatever. Yeah, that the little, catwalk. Yeah, the catwalk. And, like, it was just silent, right? It was just silence. Mm-hmm. And it was, like, amazing, right? So I think about that, right? And then when this concert starts, it's like we're in some some dude's basement, practically. <laughs> yeah. And, like, she's, like, right in our face. And, like, I don't get any of that, like, what is it? Like, that untouchable aura or whatever. Mm. It's, it's, like, it's like watching, like, your friend perform. Yeah, it's like a gig or something kind yeah, of small it's time. Like, it is so, like, surreal. Yeah. And then uh, another thing is that, like, like... Like, I feel like the like everyone's there because they were a fan of her as an idol, right? And so, like, you know, when the song starts, mm-hmm. right, and they start cheering, and then and it's just like, you know somebody out there, like, wants to mix, like, super bad, and you're just thinking, like, no, 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 we're, we're, we're probably... Well, it's like, those songs don't really lead themselves to, for mixes and stuff anyway. Some, like, because the thing is, is that, I think, I remember reading it, but I'm not too familiar with, like, music terminology or whatever, but, like, the reason why they can mix songs is because they're all at the same, like, time scale. Yeah, and yeah. And stuff like that. Like, progression. Yeah, and, like, there were some parts where you, like, you felt like it was, like, you, you really wanted to, like, mix or, like, do some of the stupid idol chants because the rhythm is exactly the same and it's just something you're used mm-hmm. to. But, like, mm-hmm. you can tell everybody's like, no, 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 we can't do that. We really want to do it, but we're, like, proper music fans now. <laughs> yeah. I should even notice that I got one, because I went to a couple of her lives, and the one here in Tochigi is, like, uh, I was the only person that had, like, the little, like, rave band, the little glow stick light uh-huh. thing wristband thing in the whole audience no one else had it so i was sure i had it on the whole show or actually for the first half of the show but i looked like a dumbass so i think it was like this is a very different vibe from like an idol show but like but then i went to the sendai one and there was like some person waving that dumb like guitar pen light from her graduation show uh-huh. so i was like ah i think it just depends on the crowd but yeah it's definitely not like a normal idol show i was gonna ask like did you really look like because i think everybody you like wants to do i i don't I don't think people are like, they're like, oh man, look at that guy. And like, I think deep down everyone's like, yeah, dude, I used to do that and I kind of want to do that, but like, no, we got to be proper, which is really weird because it's not like Mm -hmm. all the other fans are like, like, you know, like proper music fans or whatever, right? Like, oh, I got into Young Little Society because of her music. Like, I don't think like anybody in the audience was like thinking like that. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I thought like the whole thing was just like so weird. Right, like I remember, there's this one song. It's like, all right, everybody, get your towels out. Like, start waving them, and I'm just like, this feels like super commercialized, right? Like, or very forced. Yeah, like this is something like an idol would do, right? Like, everybody wave your glow sticks or your towels or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I I think the song is literally called "Let's Get Crazy." Yeah, and to me, it's just weird, right? Like, it's Mm -hmm. it's it's just so weird. Yeah. Uh, was any like the songs you particularly liked or stuck out to you? There's the song. well, so if I, like, did, are, when you do these interviews, are you talking with everybody else about, like, the set list and everything? Because the set list is pretty much the same, right? Yeah, it's pretty much the same set list. Yeah, I was just asking your personal, because I don't think you've really followed her, like, you listen to, like, any of her albums or anything. Uh, I listened to her first album, because I think okay. I bought it, and then, like, when I was when I was living in Tsushima, like, I didn't have, like, when I drove around, I didn't have, like, an MP3 or whatever, I just had a CD player, nah. so I just put in the CD. Do, do it old school, yeah. So like when I whenever I drove like and I only had like three CDs or whatever, <laughs> like two one of them I burned, <laughs> it was, and it was like initial D Eurobeat as like a joke. So like when we when we uh, drive the mountain roads in Tsushima, like me and my friend, yeah, let's play the Eurobeat, and like I remember we filmed it, and then we thought we were going really fast, and then we like watch it on video, we we're going like twenty miles per hour or something. Mm. <laughs> anyway. Um, so I was familiar with her first album. Her second album, not yeah. so much. Mm-hmm. Um, I think... Mm, so when the set list started, like, the first half was, like, her... Like, people like to say her normal songs, but... like I, Yeah. It's definitely, like, yeah, yeah if you, the set list was, like... It kind of starts very, kind of... Not so hype. Like, the hype is kind of, like, backloaded. Like, all, like, the three, like, 
upbeat songs are kind of towards the end. But, but at the same time, when I try and describe things like, or when I hear people describe it like that, it's like, oh yeah, there's no hype songs, and then there's ballads, and then there's hype songs. I'm like, isn't that like, the way like we say hype songs, like sounds so like idly, right? Yeah, it's more like, yeah, like, okay, this song, like, you know, it's just energetic. Well, like yeah. when I went to like uh, Utada's concert when she was in the US, right? Like, it's not like, I was like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, this is like her hype, like, no, it's, it's her okay songs, and then her ballads, and then like, uh, what is that one song from from uh, Kingdom Hearts? Sim- simple and clean. Yeah, it's like oh, simple and clean, dude. We were so it's like nothing like that, right? You just go and you're mm-hmm. like, okay, this is like her song. This is her set list. You know, that's what it is. And so, yeah. like when I hear it classified, it's like yeah, like her first was like kind of her regular stuff, and then her ballads and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. To me, yeah. it's kind of weird. Um, but so I'll, I still want to answer your question. Um, to be honest, like the first, the like the first part in like the ballad song was kind of like eh. the ballad was like kind of like all right but then like towards the end i was just like i think it's going on too long yeah i definitely get that vibe and it's like i went to like, the same show twice and it's literally the same show same set list um and like, the whole part she does like that one uh hitori ki skinagara mm, yeah and she's like oh this song you can relax you can rest but it's like well, it's, like it's a standing video i can't really relax we're still standing that was like my my kind of like depression like so yeah and then like yeah if you think about it like with the idol crowd right like i don't, I don't like you sit you sit during the talks and stand up during the songs well like when i think about it, like you know like ballads like how did ballads fit in like in nmb concerts because they would put them in right like you know yeah and it'd be kind of like, like a solo or some kind of small unit or whatever yeah and when i think about it it's more like hey i want to like showcase this one person from the group so it's mm-hmm. like, okay that makes yeah. sense but when you have like three ballads like back to back and then like yeah you fall asleep yeah it's, it's just weird right like yeah like I don't, I don't know the pacing just seemed off yeah definitely I, that's why i agree and yeah if, overall it's like you know i think i, I even talked with andy about this before also it was like uh you go in, like, you see, think of Sayaka, you know, as the idol or whatever. Now she's the rock star. And it's a very different vibe because you're going to a rock show now, not really a idol show. But everybody it's... there is still an idol fan. That's the yeah, weird exactly. thing, right? Like, it's like, oh, exactly. we, we got to behave for, for everybody. But it's the yeah. same people. Exactly, yeah. And I think I think the the band knows that, too. Like, whenever I look at the band, right? Mm-hmm. And they're like, you know, this, this is the part where everyone starts clapping their hands because it's just like, I don't know, I feel like idol fans need to like be part of the song, right? And that's how they get part of it. They like start clapping their hands. And um, I forgot that one song. I think it's her uh, Joker where she does that, yeah. where she plays the guitar. Like the little, like, little J gesture of her hand. Yeah, and then everybody and her, starts and clapping. And I thought that was so weird. Like I could not get into that. It feels like a cult kind of like gesture or something. It's, it <laughs> feels like... An idol concert, right? Like, you, when you go to an idol, you want to be like your idol or whatever, or, like, yeah. you, that's, like, part of, like, uh, like the language, right? Like, oh, she yeah. does this, so we, I want to do it, too, right? Or you do the furikomi or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm still going to answer yeah. your question. After that, after the ballads, right, she did this MC where she's like, oh, this is my, like, the song, like, means a lot to me because I wrote it, like, after I graduated or whatever, and... I was like, okay, this, I don't know what this song is, and I listened to it. I was like, yeah, it was all right. <laughs> is it is it uh, Ichirenso, her new? No, 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 that was that, her new single. That wasn't until like that was her encore or something, or like her double encore. I forget. Okay, yeah. Um, but after that song, there's a song called Kasai, and it's just like, I thought it was like the hypest song ever. Like I, I, I like loved it, dude. I was like bopping into the crowd. Like I think that song like woke me up. <laughs> Kasai, I don't think I've heard. Kasai. Is it Kasai? Kasai? I think it is. Not Solzai. I don't remember. Maybe so. Oh, whatever. Whatever. I can't read kanji. What am I doing? <laughs> I think it's Kasai. Anyway. But yeah, like, yeah. um, like I thought it was, I thought it was really hype, and plus the fact that it was live, like, the bass was just, like, incredible, and, like, um, the drummer, I think, is, like, really good live performer, and I was, like, so, I was, like, so pumped, right? I was, like, yo, dude, this is, like, this is the live experience, right? Like, when mm. you have the music, like, pulsing through your veins, and it's, like, mm. really fast-paced, and you're just, like, oh, I gotta get it, dude, and it's so good. Yeah, there's, like, that one part, like, I'm sure they did at your show, where, like, they have, like, the guitar battle, the guitar, and the oh, bass. Oh, yeah, that was sick, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if they did that one. But they did this at the Tokyo Zeppelins. Was they had actually each band had their little solo part at that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they did that. Like the drummer would do it, and then like the violinist, violinist would do it. Well, I didn't know. I don't know about the other concerts, but they said Okinawa was like they had the full band. 
So yeah, yeah, because just... they didn't have uh, Ayasa the violinist at the regular shows mm-hmm. aside from the Zep. Yeah, she was really or the uh, backup singer. She was really uh really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I went to go like watch her videos like later on too. She has a, she has, yeah, she's, she's like doing like Sailor Moon covers and stuff. I think mean, I did that too. Yeah, she has like a really deep voice, also. Yeah. And then I was like, when I like when I like when I watched the video, I was like, man, she reminds me of somebody. Like, I wonder who it is. I kept looking at it, it's like, oh, like a better looking like Akadine, right? It's like, oh. Oh. Okay. There's our. There's our. our <laughs> there's your reference. Your poke at the NMB current save NMB right now. Uh, I don't know. Ak- yeah. Akadine is something else anyway. Yeah. Uh. And then the the backup singer, what was her name? Asami? Pro- oh, okay, that sounds right. Yeah, because Satoko is the drummer. I kept thinking she was like short imitation, like Japanese Mariah Carey. <laughs> 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 like just the way like she looked. I thought it was really funny. Hmm. Yeah, like, whatever. But yeah, it's the same thing, right? They did that solo battle, and that was, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah. Also looked up the bassist. So the bassist had some pretty sick stuff on Twitter. I was like, man, this, this band is really good. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, I really like the band. Like, they have personality. Mm. And usually it's like, you, you come for Sayaka, but you stay for the band. That's the way to put it. Mm. But that's, Maybe. To, me, to me, that's kind of sad, though, right? Like, again, I, I, I said this in the beginning, right? Like, she's the she was the person who could fill Bompaka Stadium. But, mm-hmm. like, when, when she's, she was in that basement, like, I didn't get that same vibe at all. Yeah. Like, I, didn't, I didn't feel like she, like, led the band, right? Like... A lot of times when you see like a, yeah, like when you see like a soloist, right? Like you, the band is good, but like you still, it's still all about the soloist. Whereas like I thought mm-hmm. it was the opposite here. Mm-hmm. And that if she didn't have this history of being like, uh, doing what she had done before, like I don't, I don't know if she like, she could carry it. I've been to some concerts with, you know, like small gigs or whatever. I don't know what I was mm-hmm. doing. I, f- mm-hmm. I forget or like who it was. But it was always those, like, like there's that energy that you could only get at, like, a small concert where, like, the instruments, like, really flow through you and you just really get into the song. Mm. And, yeah, that was Kasai for me. Yeah, I think I really get that from, uh, I think it's like her last song that she does. It's Melody. Um, and then it's, it's that little part in the middle where she like, introduces all the band members and they all do their little solo mm-hmm. thing. All right. Oh, my, okay, one last question for you. Um, so... After seeing Sayaka's live, you know, going on this trip to Okinawa, you know, hanging out with other NM bros, uh, how does this affect like, your, like, you know, your, your uh, lapse period? You know, or do you think you come back into the idle sinkhole? No. Or do you think you're still sticking out? Mm. Well, okay, so I also talked about this with Andy, right? Mm-hmm. Like when I when I used to go to NMB concerts, I would like you know we'd always try to win like back to back, right? It's the same concert, like maybe a little change, like maybe they like change yeah. up like two songs, but it'd be the same concert. I'd still go and it'd still be fun. I don't know if I would go to the Sayaka concert like back to back, right? Like I would only go to one. I don't think it's like the the kind of thing you do like back to back, right? Like it's the yeah, same set list. I- Mine was literally a week apart, back to back. <laughs> it was exactly the same. The MC changes a little bit. Oh, they talked about Tojigi, talked about Gyoza and stuff. Oh, and Sindab talked about Yutan and stuff. Yeah, the Zunta. So the 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 MCs were also kind of weird. I thought. Um, right, mm-hmm. she's like, oh, like for ours, like she kept messing up. She's like, oh, I messed up, but like, uh, you know, I hope you guys like kick my ass or whatever and tell me to do better. And it's just like, is. Like, I, I, this is, like, the MCs I'm used to if it's, like, like an idol event, right? Mm-hmm. But, like, if some, like, band member's talking to me and be like, oh, I'm, you know, I, I gotta do my best, it's just, like, I, I don't care, right? Yeah. So that was weird. Um, Returning to idols, nah. Mm. Or even just events, you know. I think I'd say, like, the driving force of why you went on this whole trip was just to hang out with us. Even though I wasn't there. Yeah. Well, it was like, you know, I, I, I can hang out with friends in Okinawa. Like, it's an excuse mm-hmm. to travel. I thought that was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, like, events? Like, I don't I don't want to go to events. I, it's funny. I was thinking about, like, getting tickets to go see Kokona, but I was just like, what the hell am I doing, right? Like, I, <laughs> like, like, gone are the days when I would want to get, like, 10, 
like tickets for one member right like i would be mm-hmm. like oh i only get, only want to get like three tickets for kokuma and then that's it right and i think mm-hmm. about it right like i have to travel to osaka or tokyo and it's like the logistics like am i just, just gonna go there just for three tickets yeah if just for like three tickets right because i don't what am i gonna say now like i don't have anything to say like i'm balding <laughs> <laughs> I already. I feel. You talk about that. I feel <laughs> weird being there, right? Like, yeah. So, like, I don't really feel like doing any of the NMB stuff anymore. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I think that just happens, right? Like, you can't. It's yeah. You grow out of stuff. That and like the members that you used that you liked, they're not there anymore. Mm-hmm. Like I'm like kind of like you know on my like, I'm still with like Anchu, and I think after that, yeah, I'm definitely losing a big motivation to stick around with n and b you know so I, I i may be speaking to myself in the future right now joe you're me from the future by the way oh and with that i think i'll wrap up this uh interview so thanks you thank you joe for oh, you don't have any more stopping questions by. you didn't think i was that interesting we had a pretty interesting talk i'm gonna take you off the air all right thank you and uh we are back Whoa. to talk about episode one the episode the one series of, of uh, okay of episode one episodes. Um, so when are we doing the Minami no Teo Zero Marathon? The what? <laughs> Ouch! What'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Uh, so it, we last left off. It was like episode five, I think. No, we, we last Four. left off with uh, coconut? Karen Flower. Karen Flower, yeah. Which was episode four. Yeah. Since then, they've added more episodes. Uh, I've only watched a couple of these. Ryan's watched all of them except for one of them. I haven't. I haven't watched Lovers of the Dead. Oh, I. That's the only one I've watched. <laughs> uh, so cover, perfect. Cover all bases. Yeah. I've only watched uh, yeah, Goku Joe Girl and uh, EQ Chan. EQ Chan. So, what are your opinions? Uh, I told you to watch uh, Juju and Riku. Didn't have time. I couldn't find it. Uh, like the full version with the the, the with the uh, commentary. You should watch just the video. But I want it as intended. Just the drama part. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, according to the artist's vision. Yeah, according to Kaka. <laughs> Um, of the two that you watched, Matt, yes. uh, which one did you like best? Uh, I think I like. I have an. Ad- I think I like EQ Chan, and I think, I think I come to a realization. Uh-huh. So, uh, I think uh, that you're Kokona, a Kokona fan. Kokona is real cute. So <laughs> you, guys, you guys heard one. it here first. <laughs> <laughs> exclusive takoyaki party, exclusive world exclusive. It's like on June twenty. Uh, on June twenty second, twenty nineteen, man drops a huge bomb. <laughs> Coconut oh is my God. cute. <laughs> Megaton. Megaton. Should hashtag Megaton. Megaton yeah. Um, yeah. yeah I think just like that one because she had like the weird like... I don't understand it. It was like she had like some kind of little power or whatever where she can like change the mind of... No, 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 no. <laughs> make her do whatever they want. The, the the thing where she 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 the like there's a song dun, there's a dun, song dun, right dun, 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 or whatever like that yeah no <laughs> it's it means that she 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 solves the problem ah. so she basically the the idea is that she there's a problem that she's uh she fa- that she faces right and she does the EQ Chan thing and then she solves it mm. it it's a lot of so it's um it's a, it's based on a manga so the 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 concept of that episode is that uh. Um, it's it's an adaptation basically, so th- that's the concept of the episode. Oh, okay. So it's Ikyu Chan, which is a really old manga, I think, and it's a lot of wordplay. So it's very hard because it's very Japanese. Mm. So, what was the the simple the simple ones was uh the one in the cafe, right? Yeah. So they were saying like uh the monk or whatever told called called the. Ah oh, yeah, called the cafe, the cafe, like, so saying like, uh, you can't open the lid of the cheesecake that she bought." So what she did is like she flipped it over and opened the bottom. Mm-hmm. It's like, "Oh, so I, I beat you," <laughs> and, the, <laughs> and the the coffee was like, "You you can't um, take off the you lid. can't stick this, 
Yeah, you can't take off the lid. So what she did was she gave it to the, she, the shopkeeper to take off. No, no. Basically, she said the shop. She asked the shopkeeper to uh, add uh, Sugar milk, or, yeah, yeah, yeah or whatever, or right? Yeah, to add, she paid for a topping, and then, so the shopkeeper had to open it to add the topping. And so she won that, yeah. and there's the cheese dog stand. Yeah, the cheese dog. There was no cha- was there a challenge yeah. there? Oh yeah, that was stupid because uh, it was a um, uh, cheese cheese cheese. So it was it was wordplay, yeah. right? So cheese. Map. Yeah, it was a cheese map. So that was stupid wordplay. <laughs> <laughs> and the ending was like she she faced like a like a challenge that she couldn't solve and to be continued. Yeah. See, I mentioned this the first time we discussed episode one, right? Like they could do like really stupid things and uh, to be continued. To get Which is like, see, 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 yeah, it makes you want to series. see them. Yeah, even though like there, there's not going to be a real mm-hmm. series, right? Which is like part of the fun. Yeah. Um, so and then the other one I watched was Goku Joe Girl, which is like a Goku girl, girl wants to join the Yakuza. I thought that was pretty yeah. like it's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, I thought it was better. Actually, I liked it better than Ikyu Chan mm-hmm. because uh, Goku Joe Girl, like, it's kind of bizarre. It's like these high school girls. Yeah, it's it's really it's, it's 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 really funny because they're singing like like Hasa Hasa wants to be Yakuza, yeah. right? And like everyone was like really confused. Even the Yakuza are confused. Yeah. Like, what and the like, fuck are you doing here? Like, she like, asks like the police officer, "Hey, do you know where this address goes? Hey, do you know where the Yakuza are? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I want to join them." <laughs> I actually thought the highlight of that um, that episode was uh, Riona, like the friend. Because it's she she was like she was a straight man, yeah. right? So so Hasa is like the crazy girl who wants to join the Yakuza. Yeah. And there's her, her friend was Riona. And her friend is always like like trying to run, run runs after her. Hey, wait, wait, don't uh, don't leave me here. And she just like uh she stays like outside the the Yakuza office mm-hmm. waiting for <laughs> Hasa to come out. So I, I thought it was really funny. She was like really she she played her role well as the straight man. But this one was actually uh, rejected yeah. by the, the comedian. I thought this was the best one, though. Uh, actually, like the best one was uh, Juju and Riku's Mystery File, which is uh, Miru and uh, Kohona. Hmm. It's a mystery. So that's the concept, it's a mystery. It was really nice. Uh, the, the, there's a twist at the end. It's really nice. And uh, it has a cameo by uh, Cameron. Mm. Ka- Kaneko Shihainin. He's the victim. <laughs> dead body, Mr. Body. Played by Cameron. Yeah. So he's the dead body. Um, the, it was, th- this this show is really funny because uh, Miru is a, is a detective or something, right? But she's a detective that can only say like the obvious things. Mm. So she, she, she acts like, oh, I figured out this this thing, this clue. And then the police would like, yeah, we know. It's really interesting. And then it has Kokona there, which is, according to Matt, Probably makes it better. Cute. Probably makes it better. <laughs> makes it better. <laughs> Put that like in the like, review, you know, like, <laughs> Roger Ebert. Probably makes it better. <laughs> Probably. <Okay. laughs> so, yeah, this is the, the, the episode that I actually really like. So, I recommend everyone to watch Juju and Riku's Mystery File, which is the, Episode six of episode one. Episode one dash six. Episode one dash six. <laughs> yeah, the next one is Gigako, which is uh, yeah, this is stupid. It's Anon, and she became she becomes like this huge. Uh like, like she becomes like an Ultraman kaiju. Yeah, she becomes big, and that was it. Actually, <laughs> it wasn't really very funny. <laughs> I mean, just that concept. So the, it sounds, yeah. And they did a lot of like really, really cheap CG. Yeah. Similar, so similar remember in Karen yeah. Flower, right? They had the really stupid uh, like special effects. Yeah. They, they did the same thing mm-hmm. here. So it, it was probably really hard to do, right? They did a they did a green screen. Yeah. They did like really cheap uh, special effects. Spent all their budget that, probably on this. On that, yeah. yeah. So it was really short and it wasn't really very interesting. Yeah, then Lovers of the Dead. Jeff, you can talk about this. Yeah, I watched that one. So it's about, it's uh, it's like horror, zombie 
plus romance. So like, Yamarina gets... It has BKB in it, right? Sorry? It has BKB in yeah, it? Yeah, so this one is uh, directed by BKB, the comedian who has worked with NMB a lot. And so actually the gaming part was really funny because uh, BKB was talking about how he chose Chihi because he really likes her face. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was like getting super embarrassed about it oh she was there yeah she she yeah she actually was in the um studio part the with part? oh okay oh interesting yeah. so was Rayona there no it was uh Sai P and she oh okay uh, the, the the yeah the, there's a they explain why Riona is not there <laughs> it's kind of funny oh okay anyway so it's about Yamarina's character basically gets like attacked by a zombie is going to turn into a zombie and then one of the guys like was dating her but now she's she's going to die so now the guy is like going to date Chihi instead <laughs> so there's like <laughs> cheesy love scenes of like yeah. Chihi pretending to kiss the guy it's oh, like okay. so it's like so bad it's funny well that's the whole thing with episode 1 right yeah. everything is so bad it's funny mm-hmm. yeah my major impression was that Yamarina's pretty good at acting. Because she's uh, been in like various like, theater she... performances. Mm-hmm. But oh, Chi- yeah, yeah. Yeah, Chihi it still needs a lot of work. Uh, Chihi has like one expression. <laughs> it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's like big eyes and like half half smiling. And you she should, like you uses should, that when should... she's scared and when she's like crying and laughing. <laughs> You should watch the Kokona stuff if you if you if you want to be impressed by Chihi. <laughs> After watching Kokona, I'm not. Uh, I can't say anything bad about anyone. Yeah, anymore. I watched um, the Karen Flower. I fell asleep a few times. <laughs> <laughs> what? Karen Flower is like the second best like episode one show. Well, it was also because it was really late. Ah, uh, like but... story. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. She supposedly is going to like some art university to study acting, but and she wants to be an actress. Mm-hmm. But she was in the theater. She was studying theater, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, probably. I hope she studies mo- some more. Studies more. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chihi, you're my Oshinel, but <laughs> tough luck. Yeah. So it episode was a pretty, a pretty funny episode. Six, seven, eight. That that was episode eight. Yeah. Episode nine is Iku Chan. Yeah. Which is why we discussed that now. And then so the next one is gonna be um, Ray. So the uh so Iku Chan uh so Lovers of Dead is zombie is a zombie drama and the next one is gonna be a um, gambling drama. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's true Gla- true gambler Ray. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It 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 also has Riona. Like yeah. oh my god! Like YNN really loves you, Coconut Riona. And Riona. Yeah, Coconut and Riona. I think they're one and two in number of appearances. Yeah, Saipi. Oh yeah, Saipi and Miru because they're like main yeah. main characters. Yeah. So they also announced um, the next episodes. What what they're gonna be? So we we only have actually three episodes left. So True Gambler Ray is the first one. Is the next one. Then after that is gonna be a romance drama again with uh, Akarin and Nagisa. Yeah, Nagisa. It's a uh, one hundred confessions. It's uh, Hyaku Ikkai no Kokohaku, which is a parody of a really really famous Japanese drama, which is uh, Hyaku Ikkai Me no Propose, hundred one proposals. Hundred one so Dalmatian the, proportion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it has Akarin and Nagisa. So basically, the Queen Tet is in this episode one, except Yuri. Oh, <laughs> no, because she's in a real drama. Oh, oh. shit! <laughs> what about that other girl? Who? <laughs> she who must not be named. Well, this is after she left, so it's, it's impossible. Yeah, he, he there's the. See, this is where you insert the thunder sound, man. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, last episode 12, Miru, Sai, yeah, This is the Nagisa. final episode. Final episode. The, the yeah. conclusion you've been waiting for. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> it's the beginning yeah. of the conclusion. Yeah. <laughs> Only the first part. Yeah. What's it called? Ning- uh, Dekatachi, Dekata. which is the, the detectives. Size bulk. 
Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's cool. Check those out. Uh, I think we yeah, got what the, the actually just the regular dramas or whatever are on YouTube. Yeah. Like, uh, no. It's in Osaka Channel. Osaka Channel. You could probably pirate it from YouTube. Yeah, or wherever you get your, your entertainment. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then like the the the, the, com- the comedian commentary ones are separate, and then the member commentary yeah. is also separate. But yeah. don't bother with the member commentary. Yeah, that's not really fun. That's, <laughs> yeah. it, it's it's okay. It's okay to to watch it. Like I thought the Ancho one was really funny. Hmm. But like the others aren't really very interesting. Yeah. Um. Okay, and then one last thing about episode one is they've been selling goods. <laughs> for episode one, like keychains mm-hmm. and acrylic oh, series. Yeah. So I'm yeah. actually looking at this real quick, and uh, actually quite a few things have sold out. Oh, really? Uh, you want to guess what members have sold out without looking? Kohona. Yes. And Miru. Uh, no, actually. No? no? Wow. Yes. yes. Amimaru. Uh, she didn't have one. No, wait, she does. Yeah, she no, does. No. Damn it! Sai Kokona. Kokona, Sai P. Hasa. Yes, Hasa. Leona. Yes. Oh. I don't know. Uh... It's not Queen Dead. Sai P. You already said Sai P. Oh, wait, did I say it? Okay. I'm looking at it uh, now. Oh, okay, yeah, I opened it too. Huh. Irie oh, Mikado. Yeah, Taniga ID. <laughs> it's weird. Irie, what? what? <laughs> also, Anon and Mikanyan. What? So, so the, 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 the Riona one that sold out is really stupid because it's an NMB outfit. Hey. hey. That's what people want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's an NMB outfit. <laughs> What's so special about yeah, it? I remember the Takus were, like, you know, the most. <laughs> Oh, I, I really like this uh, Nagisa one. You should buy it. No. <laughs> she has a really stupid outfit on. Um, She's wearing like a biker helmet. Yeah. With goggles. Oh, that. <laughs> that one's nice. I like Karen Flower too. That's all out. Yeah, that one's I'm out. pretty sure Both that's all out. Oh, okay. Both of hers are sold out. Ikyu-chan sold out too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ikyu-chan sold out too. Juju, oh wait, Juju still are available. So there's one Kohona still available. Uh, that was not. That, I count the nice. the Saipi one that hasn't aired yet. Already sold out. <laughs> Which one? The detective Saipi. Ah, uh, it's already sold out. It's not out yet. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's a pretty badass outfit. It must be the, the like girl. It's a magiska the magiska yeah. outfit, right? Yeah, the long Yankee. skirt. School, yeah. school outfit. Yeah, man, the Amimaru one isn't really that nice. Yeah, it's just like it's like Shish, uh, Shifuku or whatever. Yeah, some rad it's something they would wear to a handshake event. Yeah, I don't know why the Hasa one sold out though. She's just wearing a normal uniform. That's why. Oh, that's a pervert otaku's. Mikana sold out too. Oh, this is a really funny one. I saw. I saw on Twitter. I so I, I they did the special like uh, episode one like a uh, commentary thing on YNN, and um, so they were asking Mikana about her role in Iku Chan, and apparently the the director told her, uh, you have to be very very girly, like a gal." Mm-hmm. So imagine like the 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 most gal person that you know and act like her. So <laughs> she said so. No, no, she said, uh, so I, I acted like uh, Sato Ami. Yes, I mean, Ami really Maru's name is. She's, she's like Riyaju, right? She's very yeah, Riyaju. She I think uh, like Ami Maru and like Rinachi are like the most Riyaju of like uh, NMB. <laughs> I were like, so if you if you put together like Rikati, Ami Maru, and Rinachi, you can have like a Riyaju unit. <laughs> New subunit concept. <laughs> Yeah. Mean girls. <laughs> I would love to see like a dra- episode one style drama like that of Mean Girls. Yeah, 
It's actually interesting. They could they could do like a Gakuen drama, right? They don't have a Gakuen drama here. In yeah, but the, well, I guess in Japan, the concept of like Mean Girls is like Majiska. It's common. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, bo- bully bully girls is very common. Right. Well, okay, so I think I'll do it for the episode one discussion. Be back again. Yeah, so everyone should watch it for the throwing conclusion. Yeah, we, sh- we should probably sub some of these. Yep, hit up Tevin Subs, hit up Craig. Yeah, hit up Craig. If there's enough if there's enough uh demand, he might be motivated to start doing stuff. Yeah, but let us know. If you would like to see yeah. sub subtitles for episode ones. How about this? If we get if we get like a certain number of comments, we'll sub one episode. Oh. <laughs> challenge what, for you what guys. What should the challenge be? What should you have a target? I think this, I this uh, the last episode. I think we got like twelve comments. Well, 10 com- I don't want people to spam comments though. Yeah, so it has to be relevant we get... comments. Because uh, we were thinking before, like doing like some kind of like giveaway contest or whatever to kind of encourage like. Yeah, but we don't have enough our listeners. Enough to do listeners, that. but also we're thinking like, hey, give away like a Miru book or <laughs> like <laughs> I said this, but Ryan didn't like the idea. Like first place gets a Miru book, runner up gets a Miru book. <laughs> <laughs> no, we flipped that over. <laughs> yeah. Consolation Prize is the Miro book. Yep. Anyway, speaking about comments, um, we have some questions. I did another call out for questions from uh, listeners and community. So yeah, gonna so let us know. Let's uh, let us know what episode, which episode one episode you want. Yes. In the comments. Uh, Yes, and then if yeah, do, yeah, like, huh. it could be a cool idea, like a vote, like which episode do you want to see? Yeah, before? and Matt Matt will announce the the rules of like how many we how many come what 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 we need to achieve before we will do yeah. it. It might be it might be number of comments or number of views or some or something. Whatever, yeah. Yes, so we we will come up with yeah, something. Get a magic number. But, yeah. Which, yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. So we'll move into the email section or whatever. Um. So I'm gonna read his first question from Sailing zero eight zero five. Uh. Thank you for your comments. Yeah, thank you for your comments. So, who are your Oshis outside of NMB? Like in forty eight group, forty six group, <laughs> maybe from other idol groups. So, uh, Ryan, I guess you can like you know you can go like relax, you know, go make yourself a sandwich a quick, or something. Quick, quick answer. No, no, no one. <laughs> Ryan, just take, you can like take a break for now. You go come back. Yeah, grab something from the comedy and start. Oh. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait! I'm trying. I'm trying to think. Like, do I even know other groups? Uh, can, can does AKB count? Yeah, it says like forty group, yeah. forty six group. Oh, okay. Also other idol groups. I have uh, Okada Nana Small Bame. <laughs> oh. Is that because she's connected? She's connected to uh, Yuri. Yeah, because she met Yuri the other day and they wanted to get pictures. So you get like double Mobame of Yuri yeah. sometimes? Sometimes, yeah. Very rarely, though. All right. Nah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go I, follow, uh, I follow. Surprised. I follow. Yeah, I'm not too surprised. I, I follow uh, Yamano, Yamane Suzuha on Instagram. Yeah. Suzune? Suzuha? 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 I don't know what her name is. Suzuha. Okay. Didn't she also follow. I follow her uh, on Instagram. Did she also follow. Yuri? Uh, no, not Yuri. Uh, uh. 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 Maho during the whole. No. Up stuff. Nope. Hashtag justice this... for Maho Hon. Okay, yeah, we got that. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jeff, you probably have a lot. I think you and I yeah. probably have a lot of stuff to say. Yeah, so... Yeah, I started with AKB. I was a Yokoyama Yui Oshi. Mm. Haven't really been into her lately for various reasons. Um, I still... AKB in general, I haven't really been interested because the songs over the last year mm. or so just haven't interested me. Mm. Um, I still follow a few members for like their. I occasionally pop into their showroom, check their Instagram, things like that. Like uh, Saho and Tomu, I've liked for a long time. Um, Taniguchi Megu, I think, is really cute, but I still don't really know what she's like, what her personality is like. Um, a couple STU members I liked when I watched the showroom auditions. Uh, Yumirin and then uh, Torobu Yuri 
uh, Imamura Mitsuki. I, again, I just I don't follow them very much other than checking their showroom and Instagram occasionally because I think they're cute. Um, for, that's it for 48, really. Um, I've been to K-pop a lot lately as to the disdain of Ryan and Matt. Uh, I like, <laughs> yeah, really into twice. Hashtag Dahyun. Um, hashtag, hashtag twice. Hashtag fancy. Hashtag happy happy. Hashtag breakthrough. That, that's way too many hashtags. Yeah, going to their concert in LA next month. Really looking forward to that. Uh, also, like uh, G Friend, and kind of like Eyes One, but Andy keeps trying to get me into them, but it's not really happening. You're resisting. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because I got I got in I jumped in this K-pop sinkhole because of uh, Produce Forty Eight, but then I accidentally found other groups or better groups. Yeah, better groups. That's it for me. Okay. Oh, I actually, um, not Idol, but I've been a big fan of the rock, j- Japanese uh, girl rock band Scandal for a long time. Uh, okay, yeah. They, yeah, they might as well be an Idol group, though. Well, they so they started out kind of like idly. They wore school uniforms and all that, but they really resisted the Idol title. Um, and they've really evolved from what they used to be. Like they all, they write all their own songs now. And they've they became they became popular as a cover band of K on right ba- yeah basically yeah. oh really they covered don't say lazy and then they did the one of the openings for bleach on uh, shoujo s so that I think that was kind of like their initial popularity but they're kind of they've really mellowed out they've slowed down the releases and they have a solid fan base that sticks with them but I don't think they really reach out that much more. Yeah, They're maybe, maybe to niche. like the rock fan community. Yeah, it's totally different from the idol world. Yeah. So Matt, how about you? Oh uh, yeah. So I have quite a few. So actually, my my main my main Oshi like at the moment now is a uh, Goto Lada of SKE forty eight. So actually, I like her better than Anchu. Oh. What? Yep. Traitor. Traitor. I mean, before it was Sayaka, but then she left. So, like, I kind of had the same problem, the same thing as, like, with uh, Jeff. Like, I had a lot of favorites on AKB, but then they all either graduated. So then, like, okay, there's a few members of no one AKB. And then also, yeah, like, the other songs haven't been that good. So I haven't really, like, listening to them or following them as much. Uh, but I also did, like, Yui Han for a while. That's, that's kind of how I got into uh, NMB. Uh, but then I also like uh, Oguri Yui. Yui Yui. Uh, Yahagi! Despite, despite... <laughs> Scandal, <laughs> shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, Hagi Moika. Oh, wow. That's good. Um, and then recent more. Suchi, Suchi, Suchi. Yeah. And then most recently, <laughs> most recently, actually, I got into Sasaki Yukari because she plays Earthbound on uh, OpenRec.tv. It's pretty cool. Um, that's it, fine for 48 group. Uh, and then I also like Keiaki Zaka 46. Uh, but I'm very casual. I just like the music, at least the first few singles or so. But my favorite is uh, Suga Yuka from Keiakizaka. Hashtag, hashtag Keiakizaka. Keiakizaka, yep. Um, and then the other group I'm very into uh, is uh, 27, also known as Nanabu no Niju Ni. And uh, that is the group that uh, Sally Maki is from. Um, so I like her, but she uh, is not going to be doing any handshake events for a while or any meet and greet and stuff due to personal problems. Um, but also in that group, I also like uh, Hokaze Chiharu because she plays Persona. And she's really into Persona in games. And she's from Kansai too, right? And she's from Kansai. Yeah, I think she's from Kobe. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my that's my uh, other idols. And that's our idols. So thank you. Uh, thank you again, Sailing, for asking that question. It's nice to get outside of the NMB bubble every now and then. Also, he also added this part. Uh, I want to. I want to jump on the Amimaru meme, but I don't get the joke. Sadly, I don't f- there is no joke. You should follow <laughs> Amimaru. Amimaru is a joke. That's that's the joke. I f- it's it's not a joke. It's it's serious business. Do, do you think Do you think we're we're Do you think it's a joke? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the 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 term is. I uh, yeah, but but I I mean, I think it's just like what Andy. It was like Andy and you got really into her. No. I think it's Andy. No, no, it was Andy. Yeah, he spearheaded the Andy. whole like Amimaru hype train. 
This was during this. No, this was during the draft, yeah, right? Same time, like, I think we had like two trains. We had the Yahagi train. We had the Amimaru train. The Yahagi train. Both. <laughs> and then the, <laughs> the collision course. It, it was. She wasn't even. Uh, she wasn't even Amimaru then. She was like Sato. Yeah, Sato. And he kept saying Sato, Sato. Yeah. We kept on saying Yahagi, yeah. but it never died. We still call her Yahagi. <laughs> <laughs> we still call her Yahagi. I even called her Yahagi to her face. And I didn't even mean it. Just, just out of habit. <laughs> She's like, what? But, uh, yeah, I don't know. The meme, yeah, is like, yeah, Andy really liked her. The meme is that she's pretty and you she's should cute. follow her. She plays, she has a Switch. She plays Splatoon, apparently. She plays Smash Brothers, apparently. Uh, I guess. She plays with her brother. She plays with her brother. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But actually, this made me think, like, what are other memes that we kind of have? Like,. I think we kind of have our inside jokes. I guess that's what a meme is, basically. It's kind of a, a joke you spread over and over again. Like, I think one we kind of, like, hit on is, uh, Ion. Uh, the... <laughs> the, 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 the how she's so boring. Everything she does is boring. The, the, the construction worker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we probably have a bunch, but, like, the... It, 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 I can't think of any like uh, there's the, uh, the Amimaru one and Yahagi and yeah as you said Ayan. ID ID. What other ones do we have? We have the ah we have the uh, she who must not not be named. Oh Azusa yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's kind of it. Yeah. Which one do you want? Is is uh, Quintet's only song? Every time you do a concert, yeah, yeah. it's just that song for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there's probably more memes. I mean there was like that there was a quick meme with uh when Sayaka was around and uh I guess Saya Milky was a meme and then Saya Yuri is a meme and then like the ghost Say, Oh the the, ghost the, ship. the, the zombie ship. Yeah, the ghost ship yeah. of Saya Milky. <laughs> A, that was really funny during during Sayaka Sonic because we were w- when they did the priority yeah. right when the Saya Yuri kissed we were like oh Saya Milky's dead officially dead and th- and then when uh, Milky came out oh my god the zombie ship is back yeah yeah that was funny all right okay yeah uh, next question real quick Ryan want to read this one from Vladimir. <laughs> <laughs> so they are printing another 200 Yuri PBs? Wow. No, not. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Why 200? Because there's a really small, I think it's a small number for, because like, we made, we made a joke last time about how like, <laughs> should not sell much. No, I'm pretty sure there was more than 200. Yeah. I won't say why I know, but. One. Yeah, because Ryan <laughs> bought more than 200. Yeah. <laughs> all right so that's just a quick yeah fun one uh yeah <laughs> jeff you want to read this one no are we even reading are this, really doing this one? <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm just gonna put it out there because it's the question itself is I'll, i'm we're not gonna answer but from andy do you think <laughs> <laughs> can't read it it's great phase about laughing do you think Yoshida Akari is Christian? <laughs> Why did she call her book the Bible? <laughs> Didn't quite catch it. Why so, did she yeah. call her book a Bible? Yeah, the I don't make Bible. I mean, she and she has be. she has two right or the Old Testament, the New Testament. Well, it's, it's the Bible too. <laughs> I think she has three. The Bible. I think she actually has three. The Book of Mormon. Oh. <laughs> Bible 2, it's the dark middle chapter. Looking forward to Bible 3. Yes, the Okay. I think that, 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 that nah, was really funny. is our answer. Now for something more serious. Uh, this is from Josh Box. <laughs> mm-hmm. he, he asks, uh, how many apples can you all collectively eat in one sitting? I can do a lot. <laughs> I, need, I need a number. Also, I think I, I have some questions about this. So, is it like whole apples or like, you know, apple slices or an apple cut into slices? Because I think. No, we're men. We have to eat, like, you have to bite into it. I mean, I don't mind that. Sure, yeah. I mean, do you, do you eat the core too? Are you a monster? 
Oh, fuck okay, no. Okay, good. I think Cole... Mm, I'm trying to think of Cole Apples. Uh, I could do two, I think. Yeah. In one second. You can only eat two? That's not a lot. I would get tired of it more than yeah. getting full. Mm. Yeah. I, I'll get sick of the taste. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm very particular about, like, being tired of eating something. Huh. I can't eat. I can't eat the same thing like consecutively. For example, what if there was like caramel? Even worse. What? I don't like uh, that. Yeah. It, it'll yeah. like get stuck on your teeth. Well, like you know, like you know, the caramel apple slice and caramel dip. Oh, that's worse. Oh my god, I wouldn't do that. Why? Why would you ruin the apple? Yeah, it makes it better. Two good things make what? a great thing. That's Fuck no. Asian, salt that's, is better. Asian. That's too sweet. Sal- you'd say this. salt. Huh? Salt is what you said. You put salt on yeah. an apple. What? What? That is. You've never done that. No, that is insane. You're, try you it. You are a crazy person. No, try it. No, I'm not going to try it. That's that's insane. What? Salt. Salt makes it better. No, you don't put salt on fruit. Never heard it <laughs> for apples, but people I've heard. I've heard of like watermelon. That's also for a crazy. Watermelons. Thing. No, no, no. You can do it for apples. It's really that's, good. No, no, no way. That's. Do you put like salt on a banana too? <laughs> Like to dip it like no, a, no, it doesn't work. Orange. I don't know. There, there, there's spe- specific. I don't know. So I don't understand like how the food theory works, right? <laughs> but there's things that like salt will make it sweeter. Hmm. This is why, like, when you bake, you use salt too. I c- oh man, I should ask Joe about this. <laughs> get our get our our cooking expert. Yeah. I, 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 no, it's crazy. Um. So it's like, uh, Ryan, you said two apples. Jeff, you said two apples. Yeah. 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 I think. Hmm, I think like the, the formula, like slices. I think I lose count. Well, yes. I'd yeah. Probably eat like ten apples if there were slices. Wow. But wow. I think it's whole apples, maybe five. No, this isn't a challenge, right? So how how many would you normally eat? Normally eat, I'd eat one because I, well, one apples and fruit in general in Japan are very expensive, so I can't probably eat that many. Expensive? <laughs> They're like, like 150 yen, 200 yen. Each? Each, nah. yeah. Each. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Actually, it's like 500 yen for like four of them. Yeah, yeah something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's like in crazy, yeah, so. But also, like, they're big. Like, Japanese apples yeah. are really big. Fuji apples are the best. Like I don't know, like this that American shit is disgusting. Uh, I'm from I'm from you, Washington you, State, so we're famous for apples as well. Washington apples. Red, oh my god, it's fucking red terrible. Red delicious, red delicious apples. Yeah. Everyone hates oh them. my god, red delicious so is awful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone says Washington it's apples. Only Fuji Ugh. And honey crisp. Yeah, I, I only do Fuji. I I don't like green apples or blue apples as they're called in Japan because they call them our ringo blue apple. Owl. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't like green apples. Yeah, I don't like green apples either. But like, I I will eat Fuji. I, the only thing I eat is Fuji. I don't think they even sell the red delicious here, right? No, yeah, because okay. they're not delicious. It's, they're disgusting. Everyone says like, yeah, they taste like wax or something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, and this last one's kind of long. I'm just gonna kind of summarize it real quickly. It's from uh, Jerison Oration for a really long comment. So thank you, Jerison, for uh, sending this in. Uh, so, in the title of the last episode, you guys have 46 groups in exile. So, is Cho Cho from HKT Tribe? I, don't, I, don't, I didn't understand that. Uh, so, there, uh, HKT has a, like a sub-unit, like a Joshiryoku unit too, uh, which is... Um, apparently, it's supposed to be Shu, Shu which is the uh, French French word uh, for broccoli or something. Shoe cream. Yeah, I think I think it means like cabbage or something. Huh. Uh, let's let's try it. Let let's Google that. Uh, oh, moving on. Also, he wrote Yuki Watanabe performed in university. It's like when a famous person does a concert at your school. That's cool, I guess, but I don't think school was in session, so it wasn't really like that. Like I don't think students at that university like, they could have been there because it was a lot of girls. Um, but. I don't think so. Yeah. No, it's 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 a hall, yeah. right? It doesn't matter. Yeah, it, just, it doesn't matter if it's inside the university or not. Um, because I know like some universities they'll you know get like famous like comedians or whatever to perform for like their uh you know culture festival and stuff. Yeah, not not this one. Yeah. Uh, which it does like bring back like uh the love trip the AKB song when like they did all those like performances at like uh school. 
It remind me of uh, oh Nickelodeon. So they have like Nickelodeon comes to your school. It's like a contest or whatever. But it's AKB comes to your school. <laughs> this would have been it would have been more inter- exciting for everyone if it was like ten years ago, probably. Yeah. <laughs> maybe not even like maybe even five years ago, it would have been more exciting. Yeah. Now we're like, oh, 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 AKB. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, he watched a lot of different stages of the Spring Festival, I guess, over the online streaming. Uh, would you guys consider doing a video about the carnival games you played with members? Uh, like, uh, we kind of talked about it already. What, what a lot kind of video? And we couldn't yeah. really like record any videos of us because. That's just normally a thing. Was he say, is he saying like you should, actually do, you should like pretend, do a video you should pretend separately? To be the yeah. member and then yeah. act out so, the game. We'll just like use a green screen, you know. <laughs> CG. CG Azusa. With this quintet. <laughs> In there. Uh yeah. Uh last, Oh man, she should be our mascot here. Yeah, that's what that's one's pretty pretty good idea. So imagine if Miru and Sai ended up getting into Eyes One. Would NMB, what would NMB be like today? What would Quintet be like today? So well, this is actually I don't know. This is actually an interesting yeah. question. Like I, I, I think I I think to be honest that it was rigged. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So that that um there was no way Miru and Sai P were gonna win. Or like Sakura wasn't gonna be first place. No, I, I have no. I, I don't care. I I didn't watch Produce Forty Eight, but <laughs> like um, that that's just speculation, right? Because they're a different company. So like Yoshimoto wasn't isn't gonna be like, oh, just take yeah. our group, uh, this take our, the girl away yeah. from us, yeah. right? Yeah, it's not gonna There's happen. Way too much money and contracts flowing around. Yeah. Well, okay. Let's 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 ignore that part, right? Let's say it actually did happen. Yeah. Let's say both of them. I, like Saipi didn't or, even, or even got, Eve or didn't or even get all the way to the last she got, like, thing, like, right? Like the second or third to last round. Yeah, like if both of them got in, which is, would have been horrible for NMB. Yeah. Well, well Yuri would be yeah, second for Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> well, not really, because of like a that, ship. Yeah, well, it's like a completely sunk ship at that point because Saika then, then Sayaka would would have left, right? Yuri would be like the like the Yuri. I was also imagining this scenario, so Sai mm-hmm. Sai also goes to I zone, but Azusa doesn't yeah. quit. <laughs> this is like the weird like <laughs> alternate reality. <laughs> because if Azusa quits, then uh, that would mean like there's only three members of Queen, and I don't think they can they would continue it anymore. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be weird, right? There's only three of them. Or like imagine Queen- maybe they add Gohona in or something. Yeah, or I'm wondering like the same thing like the revisionist history where like so Sai goes to I zone, Azusa stays, doesn't quit. Would uh-huh. uh, Akari then say, "Oh yeah, Quintet always had four members." <laughs> 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 no, they're, they're gonna say like they're waiting for Saipi. They will wait for her to come back or whatever. Oh. <laughs> that would be funny though. So uh, Azusa takes over. So she's now she's now the purple member. Yep. What? No, no, no. Azusa, she was originally like what? Another like shade of pink. She was hot pink. Hot pink, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that was stupid. No like. It was so dumb. I was thinking of the, about that. Like they shouldn't have made her hot pink. They should have made her green or something. It'd because be too, like it'd be too uh, Momoklo though. <laughs> if she was green, I don't know. Whatever, choose a different color. Well, I mean, there's only so many colors. But they first, yeah, they had like pretty much all the same colors of Momoklo except for red. They didn't have red. You know what? They could have done red. No, did yeah? She could have. You could have done red or green, green. or black. Black, actually, pastel like, black. There's no, there's, <laughs> there's no black uh, pen light though, so that wouldn't work. It's when you turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if like Azusa shows up, but then everyone turns off their pen. Just be like a black light. <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Bring to your rays or. 
I imagine like some like cop drama or whatever where like they're like <laughs> oh, I brought this like black like pin light to scan over the blood blood and other fluids. Does it black uh, is it black light actually purple? It's yeah, it's yeah. like purpley yeah. UV. Yeah, UV purple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is actually like an interesting like what if. Yeah. Um it's a good question. Um I don't know. I think it would be really. It would have been really terrible for NMB, and like Quintet probably wouldn't exist as it is now, yeah. uh, unless, unless like Matt's revisionist history happened. Well, I mean, it's kind of what happened to HKT, right? Because Sakura and Nako, Nako are kind of that level. Yeah. As Mira and Sai. Yeah, but they haven't. They haven't released. So Sashihara was the center for their last single, right? Like, but what? What about the next one? I think they put uh, Miku, Tanaka Miku is like their remaining... A center? Yeah, uh, remaining ace. Like, I think she's the only one that sells out at their new uh, single. Uh, because HKT is AKS, right? So the money goes to AKS no matter what. Mm. So iZone is also AKS. Yes, people listening to this, your your favorite Korean group is under AKS. <laughs> Their NGT is also under AKS. So think about that next time you listen to your, your iZone songs. <laughs> wow. All right. Poisoning the well. Yep. Yes. All right, anything else you guys want to add? Don't forget to vote for the episode one thing. There's a vote? I thought we were going to do we're a vote. No. Up, oh, right? oh, if I meant like vote, like viewers of the TV show would vote on their favorite one to get an actual episode. <laughs> That's why. No. Oh, there's, there's actually, there's actually, uh, they're actually doing it. Oh, really? That, I didn't, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, but there's actually a vote. Oh, really? For like, the actual. What episode do, what episode two do you want to watch? Uh, and they might actually make it. The, yeah, the well, they, yeah, maybe for fun. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think then you know, wrap up this uh this pretty long episode of NMB Takoyaki Party. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah. If you have any questions? Like, hey, I don't want to open up like a floodgates, but yeah, if you have some, like what if questions, maybe that might be an interesting take. Uh, for us to, for discussion. Uh, yeah. Post the comments in the YouTube or hit us up on Twitter. We'll have uh, the links. iTunes. iTunes. We're on iTunes. We recently put us up on Stitcher. I think we're also like on Google Play and uh, Spotify also. So wherever you find us on your i are we your podcast? Yeah, I was looking through like the the Libsyn stuff, the hosting stuff, and it's all oh, okay. it's all set up or whatever. That's interesting. Or it's all like pretty okay. automatic, or whatever. Uh, yeah, so you can listen to that. Find us there. Subscribe, rate. Blah 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 tell blah. Tell your friend. Blah. Tell a friend. Yeah, that's probably the thing. Tell a friend that you listen yeah. to. You like NMB. Still NMB your idols or whatever. Check out this podcast. Yeah, and we are we are thinking of doing a, a giveaway. We just don't know how to do it and whether it will be worth it. Yeah. So let's know what you think. If you support that idea. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, listeners. We'll be back next month. <laughs>